死了是东西。Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Shiro Show, the show of Shiros. Why do I have the chat twice in here? No, go away.、Uh, welcome. We 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 love you guys. How's it going? I am Patrick Trinoco, and this is my co-host Dan the Man, Dan whatever Danthrax, Danthrax Manthrax Manthrax. Oh gosh. Oh, you're muted. Hold on. Hold on. You're muted. You are muted. I don't know how you're muted. Okay, keep talking now. Uh, hello. Okay, that was、Hi. weird. Sorry、Can、about that. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, no, you're good.、Okay. Sorry about that. That was my Hi, bad. Hi, welcome to the Shiro Show, as I tried to say. <laughs> yep, welcome to the Shiro、Don't、Show, believe, Dan the Man, Danny、oh, the nice、Manny. Oh, nice hoodie, Pat. Oh yeah,、uh, you that, like my, like my night thing. It's great. Do you know what anime it's yeah, from? Yeah, it's great. I、uh, no, I don't. All right. Well, anybody can guess the you anime. You look like a bear, though. You look like a kuma. I am a kuma. Okay. I'm just so、joking. I'm probably on the right track.、Um, anyway, hi everybody! Welcome to our humble show about the Sega Saturn. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us.、Uh, as I was trying to say when I was muted, I'm over here holding down the fort for Saturn Dave. He's not、uh, here with us today. He's going to be driving his、uh, his son to a Boy Scouts meeting.、Um, they're having like a camp out or whatever, so that should be fun for them. He exploded. But,、uh, That meant that Dave couldn't join us. I really hope that they he doesn't Dave explode. Dave has exploded. Meantime, You'll be on the next show、I'm, put together, but he has exploded. He is no longer a whole Dave. He needs to regenerate. So. Well, I hope that you know how to put him back together because I'm not touching that.、Uh, I'm I'm always used to it. I have to put put together his messes. Rawr, rawr, rawr,、okay. rawr, I'm a bear. Rawr, 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 rawr. Sorry, that was weird. Anyways, the show's going off the rails already. Fantastic! I mean, Dave's Hello, not here everyone. To, Dave's not here to, to to crack the whip and、uh, get us going. Yeah. So we're well, we're、I'll, off the rails today. To... Hello to everybody in chat.、Um, Who's in the chat?、Uh, hello Let's to talk, the, talk it out. Fart Daily, best Gotta name. Hello to、Gotta、Wiener Bob. Every day, Wiener Bob, the、Next、second best, best name. name. Yeah, exactly. Hello to Tales of Saturn, Neil Henderson, Dragons of Saturn, also known as、uh, Mr. Uh, Fredrickson, hello. Retro Games Boy seventy eight. Captain Hawden,、uh, Momfus, hello.、Uh, our intrepid producer Pudgy Bunny、uh, is also in chat. Analog Black Sheep, Frog Bull, hi guys, thanks for joining us.、Uh, Stone Man, Paul Bort, hello.、Uh, let's see. Two dollars for Wiener、we've... Bob for a、uh, cola、oh, fund. Thank you, Wiener Bob. Cola fund. I don't know what we're bringing、okay. playing cola for, but. Yeah,、um, but I、oh, Tom Fun. Hello, Tom Fun. Tom, Thanks for joining Tom us, everybody. Tom have fun. Uh, make sure to to like the like, the stream and rate, share it out. Comment, or, uh, send death bell, threats, I guess, whatever.、Uh, dislike, whatever you guys think is the fair thing to do. Yes, you may do they, it. YouTube changed the way it looks, so I have no idea. Oh, looks like we have three or six people watching. Okay, I did make chat. I hide chat. To see that? No, I can't see Chad at all. Wonderful. I love you, YouTube. Thanks for making changes constantly that make everything worse. Anyway,、um, so end of the stone,、yeah. like the stone heart button in the corner, and it it doesn't allow me to do admin stuff. So I'm gonna ask、oh, YouTube if they could do me a favor and have a way to remove that heart button. Like I don't know if anybody has it in the corner. It's like a heart. Shoot. Yeah, ask... that、uh, is usually there for me. I'm gonna、mm -hmm. ask YouTube to completely remove that, please. Can I please request, or someone send me a tutorial on how to block that? Because it makes me makes my job as a chat mod chat harder. I can't find the like button. Analog Black Sheep said, "Yeah, you have to like hide chat to then see all the stuff that's、yeah. usually under the video." But now they have recommended other videos under the video.、It's、yeah, like I said, it's easier to just, just send a death threat. It's the same thing. So if you guys want to、no, do send me a death threat, a、uh, swat for, me. I mean that's. Legal... That's the equivalent like, of a life button. For legal purposes, he's joking. We are not yes, actually asking. Yes, joking.、Yet. I'm always joking. Always、uh, okay, the jokester. So, always the ever funny one.、Uh, I, I I have a pickup to mention. It's once again not a single、no, center thing. No, sorry. I go first, Dan. I go first. You, you go first. You want to go first? Okay. I'm only go playing.、Ahead. I'm only playing. I'll hold off. I'm playing. Go, I'm playing. Who's going first? I want to see you go. I want to see your updates. You got a doll doll、okay. in your hand. I want to see it. I do have a dolly.、Um, it's not for Warhammer though. It's a little Marine Noodle、Ooh. Topper from my dress up darling,、uh, the anime、like、and manga that I love. Yeah, it's very cool. She's very cute. Um, it's、uh, a good size. It's it's smallish, but not not too 
small, still a good size. Bunny got it for me. She kind of surprised me with it. So thank you to Bunny. I like it a lot. Yeah, Analog, you can actually Ooh. indeed proxy it for a Warlord Titan. I believe that's the equivalent size of Warhammer. So definitely, <laughs> definitely can do yeah. that. If Marines stomp out onto the, the exactly. field. I, I like great. it, though. I like it, though. It's really cute. You said it's a noodle topper? Thanks. Yeah, it's it's like a category of figure called a noodle topper where the character is usually, like, sitting. Um, sometimes they're, like, sitting, you know, kind of like this with their legs crossed. Sometimes they're, they got their legs dangling down. Um, and the idea is you're supposed to set them on top of a cup noodle um, once you've already, like, poured hot water into okay. the cup noodle. And you're just letting the noodles like soften in there, letting them cook in the in the, the hot water. So All you right. have the noodle topper sitting on top to keep the lid from like flipping up. But like I've never been brave enough to actually do that with a noodle topper because it's just a little paper lid, and these figures are actually like kind of heavy. So I feel like they just fall in. I, mean, I really don't think anyone's actually using these as noodle toppers. I think they just you know they just like the aesthetic of a character sitting or something. I don't know. Well, I mean, you could just drink the juices from. The, the, I mean, don't I mean? Obviously, you don't need to have the figure on top anymore. Like I mean, that's it would be the in the noodles. Uh, in the noodles. The figure. This the figure would be in the noodles. Yeah, I'm just saying that like you could drink the juices and the noodles off the figure, but then imagine you're doing that because oh man, it fell in, and all of a sudden Pudgy's walks in, you're just drinking noodle juice off of a off of a waifu <laughs> figure, and it would be would be there would be a lot of questions on that day. That's a new kind of fetish, yeah, I think. Uh, but Still anyway, moving on. I, I That's my only pickup, but I did want to mention that I was playing uh, a good bit of Solar Eclipse this week because um, Bo Bales uh, found and compiled all the cheat codes that he could find in the game. There are apparently 60 different cheat codes in Solar Eclipse. I have a real copy of the game. Here's here's my, my box. I like the disc it. is not inside like because it's in my Saturn right now. now. Yeah. I like it. So did you um, play that during the Solar, Solar Eclipse? Eclipse? No, I didn't. Uh, I definitely wow. was just taking in the solar eclipse, the actual solar eclipse that went pretty much over my house. So, but that was super cool. You look, you, you, totally you and Pudge look cute with the glasses on. Oh yeah, thanks. I like that. Yeah, we posted some photos of that in uh, on Twitter and Discord and whatnot. So uh, yeah, the solar eclipse what, was cool. So it was it was appropriate to, I guess, play the solar eclipse game. Saturn game this week. Um, yeah, like Bo didn't really find too many new codes it's just that like all the cheat codes for solar eclipse were scattered in different sources and different magazines and websites mm -hmm. uh all across the internet so it's nice to have them all compiled in one place um there were like two codes that we couldn't find had been published anywhere else one of them um and both of them both couldn't figure out what they did so i tried to help out with that uh when i was like playing it and testing them out one of them which was bully all, every cheat code you start out with in solar clips you type in like right down down left yeah and then you put the rest of the cheat code in so you do right down on left and then you spell out bully b up left left y nice. and that gives you bully. an invincibility yeah it gives you the invincibility shield power up which makes you invincible to like enemy laser blasts but not collisions and it only lasts for like 10 seconds and that fades out there's a different cheat code that will make you like your shields will go down but once your shields are down you won't die so you're like sort of invincible but in a different way and it just it stays permanent so it's a little more useful no that makes sense um the other one the other cheat code which is like right down down left and then you type in uh raz right a z z i couldn't figure out what that does bo doesn't know what it does oh, maybe someone wiener can bob, figure it out um, wiener got bob got it he didn't get the uh, the he because it's from the enemy himoto uh umaru chan I oh okay. I didn't know what you meant oh you got that okay yeah he got that but it's from the anime I, I, uh, have you ever seen that one he Himoto Umaru Chan no, I've never yeah. even heard of it it's one with the gremlin the gremlin looking character she just drinks cola and basically the, the plot of oh. is that she's like a like a popular girl good at all the stuff and then she comes home and she's like turns into a gremlin gamer gamer no. thing it's really cute okay. hmm. sorry about that but yeah I got that one that was funny is it like an older anime or when did it come out it came out in fifteen oh okay. I wouldn't say it's older. I don't know. Is that not, old? It's not thing? old. No, not old. It's it's not like a, a recent, like last few years type of anime. It's yeah. like almost ten years old. But okay. But when you're about to get it, when you're about to get well, that. I'm glad somebody did. And thanks again for the two dollars in, in that reference that was lost on us. Even the person who was who was supposed to get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a bad I'm a bad Umaro Chan fan. No, it's okay. Sorry, right, you're garbage. I'll, I'll have to take this off right now. I'm just joking. I'm naked underneath this. So let's not do that. 
<laughs> okay. So what what did you do this week, Pat? Or what what were your pickups? I do it all. Dan's, okay. Well, then. Dan's like, never mind. Here then. we are. All right. Uh, so basically, uh, my first <laughs> pickup was it. this. I went out with a friend on Saturday, and uh, we okay. went to Zia and stuff. And then I picked this up. I saw this on the rack. It was like, I was like, oh my gosh, because I love Umaro Chan. It's one of my favorite animes oh. of all time. Uh, we nice. were walking, obviously not enough to get the reference, but you know, still enough, but we we're walk, walking yeah. around and like, I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this. Cause she's like, like the anime is like, she has like, this is in a cape form, but like, it was like a, mm -hmm. a, like a, a onesie pajama thing. And I'm like, absolutely. I'm getting it. So nice. I went and bought it and yeah, this is my massive pickup. I wear this to, honestly, I wear this to bed. I don't even put the, the covers on me. I just like pretty much have my bed made and I fell asleep with my bed made and fall asleep on this and it's perfect mm -hmm. so I yeah, it looks comfy it, it looks comfy yeah because i read in the it's chat i dope. actually don't have access to my keyboard uh we were if you put the full name of the thing into the chat i'd appreciate that you don't have access to your keyboard what are you doing i over have to there? like stretch and i have to look it up too so i don't want to do that i'm lazy just uh, slide over here on the couch and just use my keyboard Ooh, i've got one over slide here slide around i slide close to you yeah. with my with okay. my hoodie on me without clothes underneath this <laughs> No, I'm sure, I'm sure you. you I'm sure you would really appreciate that. Yeah, I really would. Uh, but, anyway, did you play any Saturn games this week, Pat? <laughs> um, I did. I was messing around with uh okay, my Saru. Actually, I actually got a. Right. Uh, so I did something big. So I got a label for mine. I know I've been talking about the label for a while. Oh yeah, yeah, the the Saru cartridge. Yeah. Yeah, and I finally I got a label. Saru, I was happy about Saru. the Saru cart. Yeah, but yeah, let me show you the my label that I decided on. I think I want to like it a lot. Oh yeah, it's dark. I need a flashlight. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it's the uh, it was like a, a a little Photoshop. I think did you make this Photoshop pattern? Did someone make it for you? I made it myself. Okay, yeah, you made it. So yeah, it's it's he kind of photoshopped like a a Saturn graphic that showed like Sarah Brian from Virtual Fighter and a uh, baseball player and uh, what was the third character? I can't remember. A uh, baseball man. No, besides baseball man, cop dude, hop dude, cop dude. Oh yeah, yeah, virtual cop guy. Um, cop and man, so he nine thousand. He put his his face, my face, and and Dave's faces over them uh, yeah. for anyone watching on the podcast. So yeah, it's it's a funny little graphic. That's cool. Although I think you really should have used the Mr. Bones one that Pudgy Bunny made for uh, you. No, that no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, that would have been perfect no. for you, Pat. You know it. <laughs> But no, uh, I also got the good thing is that I was only the only one I got of it. I have four yeah. more of these, so I don't okay, know if I cool. want to give these away as prizes or maybe give these to you guys. Maybe give one to you, Dan, the man, since it's your face on there. I don't know, if you uh, want one. I suppose, but I don't have a Saru. Um, I wasn't really planning on get getting a Saru. One. Like, I'm pretty happy with my satiator. But, uh, uh, I mean, I guess I could put down, like, a memory cartridge or something, huh? <laughs> if I ever get one. Yeah, unfortunately, we actually got the we actually got stuff. So, so what happened is that we ordered uh, the I only get the name of it. We ordered this when we ordered the Saru cards. We got it from that specific store. It was like called something Paradise. Let me get the name of it off the top of my yeah, head. Yeah, Retro Game Paradise. I yeah, think. Retro Game Paradise. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, when we ordered the the Retro Game Paradise off the AliExpress, we actually got. Uh, we actually ordered uh, that, and unfortunately, they sent the, both of them to Dave's address, despite us saying we want sent to our separate addresses. So, I want yeah. to D Dave. So we were kind of, uh, kind of a bit saddened about that. Oh, but right. they worked with you, like, didn't they yeah. fully refund one of them? Yeah, they fully <laughs> refunded, and they sent us something, something wild. amazing. See if yeah. we can get, get it up in chat. Uh, okay. Like, I'll have the image because I have to get it ready for that. But they actually sent us like these cartridges and labels for it, like just a ton of them. I was really shocked. Like we didn't advertise it either. Right. We never like, we weren't like, Hey, we're Shiro. We're buying it because, you know, give us free stuff. Yeah. They just sent yeah. it to us. And I was like, uh, all right. Uh, yeah. So actually, why don't I just, nice. why don't I just do this? I'm, I'm really dumb Alex sometimes. Moff Dan CK said, I had to get a Saru just from pure curiosity. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's definitely kind of the hot item, I think, in the, the Saturn community right now as far as, like, peripherals and hardware and stuff goes. Oh, yeah, they actually sent us... Don't blame you. Sent us that in the mail, so that was really cool. 
Oh yeah, there you go. There's all your different shells and stickers and stuff. That's nice. Yeah, exactly. I like the uh, the Sakura Shinguji stickers. Those are nice. Yeah, they're really cool looking. Good. They all look good though. All the stickers. Uh, there's a Tokimeki Memorial one there. Sticker. That's good. Oh wait, it's Gotta not have showing. One of those. That's weird. It's not showing the the zoom and I did on. That's weird. Hmm. But yeah. Um. Oh, it's because it opened up. Well, in, people can it opened still up see in it. A, it opened up in a tab. That's why. I'm dumb. Hmm. But yeah, here he goes. Got this cool one from Tokimeki. Got this the Sagata. Got this cool yeah, other one. Sagata Sanchiro. Got this one of of Sagata with an autograph on the side. Got Sanic. Nice. You got Sakura Sanguchi. Is that a name? Sanguchi. Uh, Shinguchi. 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 Getting that Gucci. All that Gucci. Uh, Alex asked, "Was the PCB beveled on yours?" I think it was. Yes, right, it was indeed. Yeah. I can look at it right now. It looks slightly beveled. It's kind of hard to see, but it was. There is a slight bevel on it, though, so it's beveled uh -huh. to the slightest. But yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Retro Game Paradise. They hooked us up. They gave us the good stuff. So I really appreciate them doing that for us. Double Dime says I agree. Mr. Bones all day. See, you gotta do it, Mr. Double Dime. Uh, says that so. sounds like a Double Dime ban to me. <laughs> no, we can't ban double if ban. he's running it. Double our, ban. Double ban. But Speaking no. of which, we have some uh, announcements to make here. After for the, my next uh, one. Se oh, you have one more thing. Okay. One, See, one this was thing. a perfect transition. You're ruining it. Come on, Pat. Let's Sorry. go. Okay. What Anyways, you got? I got to, I finally listened to Dan. I got a Sumo Orange. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do need to go over this. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah finally, so Dan's been helping me. Uh, yeah, Sumo Orange. It's, you can't see it now. It's hidden on my body. You don't know the Sumo Yeah, it blends right in with your hoodie. But so yeah. how did you like it? You had one for your birthday, right? Happy birthday, by the way. Happy, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Say happy birthday, everybody in chat, to Pat. Or say F you as well. You could do that. That's acceptable. Don't do that, please. Answer, that's <laughs> pokey orange. Yeah, it is a pokey orange. I can do something like this. Like, like put it in my shirt and just... No, oh, no. There we go. No, we're we're gonna get banned by YouTube. This, this little, is something little we're gonna find. <laughs> Let's see what's happening here. <laughs> okay. Oh man, we're getting banned for sure. I, I need to be able to like make him invisible. Like I need to run the show one of these <laughs> days, so I can just keep control of what's happening here. Thank you, thank you, everyone, uh, anyway. for the birthday wishes. Much, much obliged. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Do, not, do you're not obliged you like to. your your sumo? So uh, here's my what? feedback on it. I liked a few, yeah. Pat. There you go. Thank you. Did your package come? <laughs> you uh, I got a package. But no, uh, no. Uh, it uh, it honestly it was easy to peel. Oh, ten dollars birthday bucks. Thank you, Wiener Bob. Thank for the you, Ten dollar donation. Nine ninety nine. Much love. Much love. We lost people from that pokey joke. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I liked it. It was easy to peel. It was my favorite part of it. I usually have a hard time peeling oranges, but these ones They're were pretty easy to peel. Easy yeah. to peel. So that was really cool. Um, I, but uh, yeah, I tasted it, and it tasted a little bit better than a regular orange. But I prefer the oh, yeah. tartness of the of the uh, blood orange. Is my opinion. So. Oh, see, blood oranges are so tart, though. Like I man, know, I things... like the tartness of it. That's what I enjoy of it. That's... So. So, so you're a big fan of like sour candy too? Then is yeah, that yeah, sour candy? Okay, that I'm makes sense. Bit... Yeah, but I mean, so, but you still agree that sumos are really good and they're better than regular orange. They are. They are very okay. better than regular orange. I, we can very agree good. on that. I definitely this, prefer this... them to oranges. Okay, good. So you are you are human. That that makes sense. That yeah. checks out. The thing, the this, thing this is, that's weird about though, is not brought to you by big sumo, but we are accepting sponsorships. If okay. Big sumo is you type in the, 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 the hashtag pokey Patrick into their chat, you get 10% off your next order <laughs> of sumo oranges. Yeah. Hashtag pokey Pat. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Either way was good. I, I saw them at my grocery store is really cool. I was like the things that nice. I wasn't sure if it was sumo oranges, like sumo mandarins or something. It mm. wasn't like, correct like, there's like a weird name for it, it wasn't sumo oranges like sumo something mm, so it was really weird. weird so i'm trying to figure out what's going on with that so uh yeah but for the most part they were good i enjoyed them and they were delicious oh. good green my, my ears are reacting to the green screen oh i guess it's like fuzzy fuzzy ears yeah it's the ears it's weird oh yeah it is it is a little fuzzy it's kind of i'm always fuzzy moving a little bit but yeah let That's me uh right. Let me actually check my mail real quick and see, because apparently Dave sent me some, so if you want to talk a little bit. 
or something while I'm gone. Oh, are you are you leaving? Is it all? Oh, that's fine. I can I can uh, make the Saturn uh, online tournament announcement. Okay. I, the thing is, I need to control the image, so I'll I'll launch up okay. the the prizes that you guys will get. Yeah, the yeah. Does show that. that on screen. I need to. <clears throat> oh yeah, I need to. I actually need to open up Discord. So Dan's gonna disappear real quick while I do this no. because I have to open up the link because I forgot to do it. There we go. Open browser. Okay, we'll go back to that. Okay, we should be good now. Dan should be back to his original position. There we go. Yay. Yeah, I'll open that up. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. We'll I did go. try cool. to Pat to warn Pat ahead of time about this. I, I I'm dumb though, so I really did. I'm no, dumb. It's okay. I All right, it. Grace, but yeah, let me know in my package. You can explain okay, the coolness I'll... while I go so, outside time. in public with this on. Okay, have fun. I'll hold down the fort. So Double Dime uh, sent me a little uh, message. They wanted me to relate to everybody. He said, congratulations to Mixion again for winning the Saturn Bomberman tournament. The sixth online uh, Shiro Saturn tournament uh, will be... Uh, so that was the fifth one, and congratulations on that. So uh, he's announcing that the next one, which will be our sixth, will be for Puzzle Bobble 3. Uh, the Bubble Dragons, Bub and Bob, are the only ones you're allowed to use for this tournament. This time around, we're sticking with Western Hemisphere players only to help with connection speeds. Uh, we can do a separate Eastern Hemisphere tournament, he said as well, if there is enough player interest. Um, we're going to shoot for 16 players again. First 16 to sign up, but uh, we can go up to 32 players if the whole Western Hemisphere roster is down to party. Uh, like last time, participants have one week to schedule their matches and another week to complete them. Make sure to only choose the Bubble Dragons, the default choice, to keep things fair. You can either do just one set or best of three. And Double Dime says, hope everyone is ready to bust a move. Uh, also, uh, as you see on, on screen, the images here uh, are of the Netlink playable patch and the uh, Sega Saturn... Uh, networks hat and these are the prizes that you can win if you uh, win this tournament um, this patch and hat uh, are going to be sent out i think to i assume they're going to be sent to mixion um, since he won our bomberman tournament and uh, anyone if if you happen to prevail in our puzzle bobble tournament then you'll get those for yourself so yeah good luck to everybody um, yeah, just where's the form? <laughs> uh, so there isn't a form, Dragons of Saturn. What you want to do is just go into the, at least the online tournament channel in the Shiro Discord server, which I know you're in that. Um, and you can uh, just say, hey, I want to be in the tournament. Just voice uh, what you want. And then Double Dime and the other tournament organizers will get you in there and you'll be good to go. So uh, yeah, and if anybody is watching and you have not, uh, you have not, you have not do joined our jo hello, welcome back, Pat. If you have Hi. not joined our Discord server, I will post a link in chat in just two seconds, and you can follow that and join our Discord server and uh, you know join the conversation. Do a lot of good discussions about Saturn and other Sega consoles and random music. You know, recommendations and anime recommendations, that sort of thing. Uh, anime, pokey recommendations. Yes. So, uh, as you missed, Pat, but it, we're going to be playing Puzzle Bobble 3 Ooh, for our online nice. tournament. Nice. Starting, uh, I guess, excited. as soon as we get 16 players signed up. So, uh, that could be pretty quickly. So, everybody needs to get in there. Did you get your mail? Did you get anything? No, I did not. I just got an offer no. for Discovery for a credit card. Well, that's not exciting. It, it is not, no, it is not indeed exciting. So, yeah, unfortunately, nothing delivered yet. It's probably not going to be delivered till the afternoon, so I'll have to keep the package sealed. My neighbor did, inf did inform me that I looked quote-unquote cute in this, so that was fun. <laughs> nice. You do, Pat. You look very cute in your little Kuma yes. jammies. That's, I had, so. Yeah, I had to, uh, yeah, I had to, uh, yeah, I walked to my mailbox with this in it, so... Mm -hmm. That's very brave so thank of you. you. Dan, thank you, Dave, for making me walk outside of my house to my mailbox to listen to my neighbors sorry, giggling. Pat. That's all cool, Dave. I'm usually the neighborhood embarrassment anyways, so. 
Dave goes, happy birthday all the same. I know, I'm only playing. It's all good, it's all good. My neighbors know I'm a psychopath, so it's all good. I'm used to it. But yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, you told them about the awesome prizes they can be getting. Yes. Yeah. The patch and the hat. They look nice. cool. Um, they look really cool. And I think it's, isn't it Moose Track who makes those? Yeah, Moose uh, Tracks does. They're really them, cool. Makes them in donuts. Does he do both the patch and the hat, or is it just the he patch? He does both. He does both. They look awesome. And he just donates them. That's just something that he does. So big thank you to, to Moose Track for, for making these and, you know, giving people, you know, some kind of a, a prize for, for playing in these tournaments. It's pretty fun. No, much appreciated. It's, uh, I, I'm liking the comments. Tom, from the years make you look huggable and plays like he always huggable. Thank you <laughs> everyone for the kind words for the huggableness. I strive myself on being the cutest possible I can on the show. So <laughs> that is, yeah. That is you, my you goal. Sure <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad people want to hug me. That that is very humbling, 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 humbling. But yeah. All right. So anyways, there you go. That's yeah. Big, get your hat. Uh, get, get your ass online. Get your hat online ready. Uh, we yeah. are. Uh, we are. We all ship. We did ship out the final Netlink browsers. Right. Yeah. The Netlink Night things Dragon today. Finally, uh, yeah. The the X so, modems with the line modems. Let's see if you're drooping down on me. Uh, Nighty Dragon tested all those and sent them out to it's another round of 10 to everybody yep. who uh, signed up for them and bought them. They'll be coming so your way. I'm one of them, so I'm very excited. Get, <laughs> to get ready that for Mortal Kombat, Dan. Online. Yeah, I, I hope that the tunnel software is going to run well on my little netbook because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to figure something else out and like bring my Saturn up to my desktop PC up in my office. On the second floor, I don't know. I'm going to figure yeah, something out. Yeah, it would not out. be a fun time. You don't so, want to do that. Or I'll just buy a second Saturn. You know, that's fine. Just install People a second Saturn in your house. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> yeah, just two Saturns. Oh, no. He didn't ship Dan's. He threw I yours in the... He, we threw yours in the, in the, in the trash. Uh, you know, he I'm didn't ship... Get I th well, hold on. Dave just said he didn't ship Dan's. I thought Knight was just kidding when he said he didn't ship mine. In on Discord earlier today, I think he I think was. He, was I think my leg. he actually did send mine. Am I the only one who's not getting one here? I think he. I think he was Jeez. joking. I think you did get yours. No, now that Dave's saying it, Dave never jokes. Well, not about Dave's it. messing I, with I you. Know. No, Dave never. Dave never messes with me. Dave just. He's, <laughs> I believe everything he says. Yeah, he was. I believe everything Dave says too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's a trustworthy guy like that. So I guess I'm not getting one. I'm very sad. Uh, everyone else, enjoy yours. I'll yeah. just be... Yeah, Dan can go cry. Dan's going to cry. I am. I'm going to cry. So Double Dine says in chat, Moose is the best. We are paying him for these, by the way. Oh, we are. Okay. Well, that's good. He deserves it. Yeah, we Shiro are giving him money. Taking care. Okay, sure. taking care, care of most care, of the yeah. bill. But I also tossed him some cash for his hard work. Well, that's super nice of you, Double Time. That's super nice of you. Exactly. Love you, Love you too, we make Dave. sure that we make sure that he's serviced correctly. Trust oh no boy. One. Okay. Don't trust Patrick. I am note, a horrible person. They, they it is confirmed. Uh, I am the worst person on the show. Do do we want no. to get into the news for this week? No. The Saturn news. We do have no. Saturn news. No. <laughs> Please no. stop being contrarian. <laughs> no. Okay. I can, yeah, do, I can do the news. Let me go get, okay, let me go get the news. The news, yeah, bring up. Up the news on the news on the news on the news on the news oops i just crashed my browser that was oh weird. good well i've got my browser up so i can at least start talking yeah. about it uh we have our first thing up is that uh the yaba sanchiro saturn emulator has applied to the uh apple app store <clears throat> so uh saturn emulation may be coming to your ios devices soon um, Apple updated its App Store submission guidelines uh, last Friday, so a week from today when this is recorded to and streamed, to include rules for game emulators applying to the store. It says in part that retro game console emulator apps can offer oh, to oops, download games I didn't open and developers. Article. Sorry. Okay, and developers are responsible for all such software offered in your app, including ensuring that such software complies with these guidelines and all applicable laws. Uh, so anyway, so basically they're saying, okay, don't do anything illegal, but you can put an emulator up on our app store if you want. So that led Miax, the developer of Saren emulator Yabasan Shiro, to apply for the app store. Um, he said on Twitter when he applied for this, what's, what's going to happen? I think he means like, what's the worst that can happen? You know, they can say no, which wouldn't be the first time. Well, yes, uh, that he has they could say yes. Said no. They could say yes, and that would be awesome. I mean, they might say um, no, but they might say yes. So, I mean, there's there's a 
inherent risk there to what you may as well give it a shot uh i don't know if it even costs money to do but i know that it takes a little bit for it, it to possibly get approved um but anyway yeah so uh he has been rejected before by valve's steam uh platform on pc um he tried to get his emulator on there just like uh i think isn't uh beetle saturn or um something like that on there already i think so do you think that they would allow yabasanchiro but no they said no and didn't really give much of a reason they said it was not a good fit for steam so hopefully he'll have better luck with apple of all hopefully. people val's favorite company by the way um so yeah uh for a long time, um, Apple has banned emulators from their platforms, uh, but it seems that their stance on them is changing in response to pressure by the European Union and the United States over antitrust concerns, uh, uh, as suggested by Emma Roth in her story for The Verge. Uh, the EU has strong-armed Apple into allowing third-party storefronts recently, and the U.S. filed a lawsuit that accused the company of blocking apps that stream games from the cloud, even though Apple reversed course on that earlier this year. I think they're still suing them for having blocked them before I mean, reversing you, course. You gotta do, you gotta do um, what you gotta do for litigation. Yeah. So the knock-on effect of that governmental pressure is that it may work out in Yabasanshiro's fa- favor. Um, so that would be cool. Uh, yeah, like, even though Yabasanshiro does have, like, a Windows PC version, um, it's not being actively updated anymore. It hasn't been updated in more than a year. Um, Miax is focus has always Meox. been on mobile or Miox. I don't Meox. know how to pronounce his name. I don't know how to say it either. I'm saying Mia. 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 His focus has always been on mobile platforms on Android and he has allowed, uh, had like a way for you to kind of sideload Yabasanshiro onto iOS devices using something called the Alt Store. Um, but if he actually gets onto the real App Store, that would be a lot better. It would be more official. Um, so yeah, there you go. We'll have to keep an eye out and see if he actually gets applied. And if he does, we'll have another story up with a link to the page and how you can download it to your iPhone, or your iPad. That'd no, be cool. I'm excited. It's going to be sweet. I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah. I, Cause I have an iPhone. It's streaming me right now. So it would be pretty cool, be cool. to actually play some Saturn games on, on, you know, my iPhone. Uh, hopefully there'll be an easy way to load on games that I definitely legally own, like like Solar Eclipse uh, on there to play. So, no, For sure. You know, you hopefully go. you'll be able to play that. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. So we can move on to uh, Peter's Best of Saturn article this week. Go ahead, Pat. Alrighty, let's go move on to... Actually, let me just... Did you zoom in on my face again? No, why are you <laughs> saying that? Because uh, I that? saw it for just a split second when I switched back to YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. No. Chat. Hmm. Chat, was he misbehaving? Was he put my face real big on screen? I know you'll rat him out. <laughs> uh, didn't zoom in enough. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't, didn't zoom, zoom in, in at enough. all. There's uh-huh. no... There's no... He's always misbehaving. There's That's no right, zoom but... in... There's no zoom in at all, I swear. I was kind to Dan and his Dan and his picture on the thing. I didn't zoom in too much. I mean, Please. I didn't zoom in at all. At all. Oh, yeah. Okay. I definitely believe you. Definitely okay. Not. So, Virtual Cop is our best of Saturn why this week. Go he, ahead. Why did he comment? I saw someone comment something dumb and just deleted immediately. That was pretty mm-hmm. funny. All right. Anyways, uh, Virtual Cop. So whoever, raise your hand if you don't know what this game is. I didn't think so. So Virtual Cop, everyone knows Virtual Cop. One of the highly, highly anticipated uh, light gun shooters that pretty much inspired a ton of other ones. This uh, is actually one of the best of Saturn It games actually is here. the best of Saturn. It's not the best on mm-hmm. Saturn. The best only dance, disappointing only dance. This is the best of Saturn for uh, Pandemonium for our exactly. fellow Shiro. Uh, he did like, he loves this did, like a three hour documentary on that, you know? Yeah, Basically, that's all. You know, this game came out, it is awesome. A little bit. Game came out in uh, 1995 and is part of the, mm-hmm. the big three of Christmas, which is Sega Rally, or was it Daytona? Sega Rally or Daytona, I forgot. Oh. Virtual Fighter. No, Sega Rally. Sega Rally, yes. Daytona, and then Virtua Cop, the big oh, three. No, Daytona was a launch. <laughs> launch so Sega Rally, uh, so... Virtua Fighter, and, and uh, Virtua yes, Cop. Virtua Sorry. Fighter 2. Virtua My Cop, bad. Virtua Fighter 2, and Sega Rally were the big three for Christmas 1995. It was James' favorite, too. But yeah, this is really big. Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, there is a showcase what the Saturn had over the PlayStation, which was quite a lot. Uh, pretty, it's a pretty faithful uh, adapt adaptation from the arcade version. There are some slight mm -hmm. differences, but like uh, I don't want to go through all of them in the show. Pandemonium did a whole documentary on that, so if you guys want to know what's the big differences in, from the arcade versus the system, you can go up. But I think essentially just some ways that glass and the clouds are shown is one of the big ones and some of the pop-in. So besides that, uh, pretty much a fully polygon, so ever-changing Zoom's perspective. I believe it's a solid 60. I believe 60 frames a second. I believe so. It's a yeah, really impressive so. game. A mat, it's an amazing <clears throat> multiplayer game. So many difficulties, so much challenges, and of course, a multiplayer action that's fun that can like pretty much keep you on the edge of your seat and having fun the entire time. Highly recommend to play it if you haven't played Virtue Cop and you own a Saturn. I don't know why you haven't, but. I it's it's one of the first ones you gotta try, pretty much. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's like those, that big three we we mentioned. You know, try out one of the virtual fighters, uh, try out one of the two virtual cops. You know, and then you gotta play a little Sega Rally. Not to mention a little Daytona. Um, I I would personally, uh, you know, recommend, of course, Fighting Vipers and Daytona Championship Circuit Edition. But that's just me and my weird taste. Now virtual you do cop have weird is taste, awesome. Then. I I think I prefer Virtual Cop Two more because I like the branching paths. Um, I guess I like the scoring system a little better, uh, but Virtual Cop One's still awesome, of course. It's just oh, awesome. yeah, great game. Awesome. Yes. But yeah, th highly recommend playing Virtual Cop. Fun game. Uh, ten out of ten. Uh, definitely think it's probably <laughs> my third favorite light shooter between House of the Dead, House of the Dead One and Two, and then Virtual Cop. Nice. Wiener Bob three. said that's the first game I ever saw being played on the Saturn. It's and, definitely a good uh, one. Yeah. Monfis said, oh, remember that sweet triple release? Uh, it was a release that made me decide for the Saturn. There you go. It was, yeah, it worked with Monfis. Made him want a Saturn. Yep. Uh, Compton said, you used to have a legal copy of Richard Cop. Where did it go? Uh, well, you can get it not legally somewhere pretty easily. I mean, you get it legally. Well, you could get another copy. It's a cheap they're, copy. They're it's, not, cheap. it's not yeah. expensive. It's not like a $100 game yet. Yet. Not yet. Eventually, inflation time. will get it there. $100 exactly. would be like $10 today. Exactly. We're, 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 in the end, we're in the end times, people. We're in the end times. Oh, yeah. He said he's got an insatiator. There you go. Nice. Uh, Mr. Fredrickson said, I have one. It's a great game to own. It sure is. It is. I'm it was one of the first excited. ones that I got when I first got a Saturn in 2018. I was like looking around, okay, so what are like some of the, the like really good Saturn games that are like the most affordable? And Virtual Cop was one of the first ones that I got. So... And somehow I ended up with two manuals for Virtual Cop. So I'm sending one of them to Malenko. He asked for it because he didn't have one. So I'm going to try to pop that in the mail tomorrow. Uh, Khan said, I sent, or Chrono Lee sent, uh, sent two stunners to dragon to dragoons or dragons a few weeks ago. I don't know if he oh, means nice. which dragons. Dragons of Saturn. means dragons of Saturn. Or does he mean Knight of Dragon, one of the two? I think he yeah. means dragons. I think it means Mr. Fredrickson. Okay. Is that Mr. Fredrickson? Yeah. Okay, that was him. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep. Enjoy your like gun action. Send videos or pictures yeah. in the chat. And you know, it it just occurs. It just occurred to me that like I can finally play light gun games again on my Saturn because I had my Saturn hooked up to an HGTV for uh, the longest time, and now I you know hauled a little CRT up from the basement in the living room, um, uh, so I can use that to play Virtual Cop and House of the Dead and whatnot again. So I'm actually kind of excited. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to do that now. Do it. Because I, I do miss like on games. The only thing is that like I use a mouse a lot for work. So mm -hmm. my like my right hand, my my index finger uh, and my middle finger, I do so much like clicking with a mouse. That, yeah, like, with your right hand, I can't right? do, yes, uh, I can't do a whole lot of like light gun playing anymore no, like I'm it, it kind of hurts after like we kept it fire really fast you know uh, yeah to no, really I, I know do it's well. you gotta like you gotta do the it actually gets kind of yeah, painful got, yeah in my old age no my fi my <laughs> so fingers ache after a while after i after yeah. use light gun it, it like aches like you just keep keep pulling and squeezing and it's just like like honestly you should do the cheat exactly. thing we to, turn on the uh turn on the cheat one i actually have two light guns i have the one that's like the the was it the two on one yeah, i have two like guns. Oh no, no I, I just have... have two regular like black stunners I imported from Japan. Oh no, I have the I have the the, the orange one and I have the uh mm. the, the one that's like a it's like a two for one. It's like it works for both the PlayStation and Saturn. Mm. It actually I actually prefer that one over the other one because the cord is a lot longer. 
and it's uh, oh, okay. It's a lot nicer. I like it. it. It feels and it has a lot of the cool macros where it's like, oh yeah, mm. you can k- hit it and then you can just like hold the button down and shoot and it auto reloads. Nice. Frog Bull asked me in chat, do you use a vertical mouse, Danthrax? No, I don't even know what a vertical mouse is. I just use a regular looking mouse. I think it's like it's like a mouse that's like this way. It's like on its side. It's like a big like like long like this, and you just like move it back and forth like that. It's kind of mm. weird. I'm not a fan of it. I'm a fan of like my traditional a mouse. Almost. Yeah, here's my my, my go to mouse is my my favorite uh, mouse of all time, the Microsoft Sidewinder. This is my nice. favorite mouse of all time. I have three of them. I think I bought nice. four of them in my life. One of them's dead. The other one's somewhere else. But yeah, I am Crowley, a big fan uh, of that. Yeah, Crowley said Area Fifty One is okay. Uh, I do like Area Fifty One. Uh, I have a little bit of a soft spot for that because that was a game that I played um, in like a like a campground at a campground. They had like a little arcade, um, so I played that when I was a kid. Uh, and I and I got like a an issue of Tips and Tricks magazine when I was a kid that like did like a whole. Uh, uh, a whole like walkthrough of the game and i kind of poured over that when i was a kid i didn't get magazines too often so yeah i would really pour over them so yeah i like area 51 i like that it's on the saturn um two uh I mean, oh uh, moose track said maximum force is low-key awesome yeah that's like the spiritual successor to area 51 uh not counting i guess area or uh, site four <laughs> for area 51 but maximum force is actually on the saturn too um and i haven't tried it i've, I've never played it so i definitely need to try that the, the one like in game i keep thinking of that always get, makes me giggle is uh i don't know if you remember ever remember uh, it was like called police academy or police training simulator or something like that no it was like mm-hmm. this that's one like, it's like, it's like you, an arcade yeah it's like an arcade game like you it's like training for oh, the okay. police like it's like a virtual thing <laughs> but me and, my, me and my brother, I remember me and my brother were playing it, and uh, we were we were like, uh, I think it was it was after some events, but we played it where it's like we just shot all the citizens, but like but like the real police training simulator. Oh jeez, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I didn't mean to get political. Good Sorry, good memories didn't with your brother. Political, yeah. I, mean, I love my brother. He actually got got me a gift today. He got me a uh, a thing a thing of Kriegers from Warhammer, like little mo- dollies, little molly, model dollies. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I got a little, little box of it, the Krieg, Kriegsman. It's in the thing. I'm not going to get up and grab it again because That's fine. I did that already. But yeah, thank you to yeah. my brother, Sean. Uh, it's a little Kriegsman, little cool box. It's called the, so, the Veteran Guardsman. So thank you. i glad I have those. Captain Hodden said, instead of camping, Dan was playing video games. Sounds like me. Yeah, no, I didn't get much of a chance to play in the arcade. But it's like my parents always like, give me some quarters and you know, give me a half hour to like run around in there once a camping trip. So I could, cause oh, I mean, there are games in there and that's where I played dark stalkers the first time too. That's why I've been at dark stalkers. Oh yeah. Like, are you like those KOA, those KOA it. things. Uh, what you, you is that what you did? The, the campsites where they have the arcades in it. I remember. Uh, no, it was just a camp. It was like a state park and they had like a, a commissary where you go to, you know, like yeah, pay yeah. for your site and buy, buy some food and some uh, memorabilia and stuff. And then it's like attached to the, the camp commissary was a little arcade room. Um, where they had a bunch of cabinets, so uh, yeah, yeah no. I just kind of like pop over there. Yeah, no, they had a, the at the KOA I went to. It's like a Campground of America thing. I think that's the name of it. But okay, but yeah, they had an arcade there. That's actually where I played. Yeah. I remember it had Madden Blitz at that police training simulator. It had it had a mm. Virtual Fighter. It had MVC One. It's really cool. I liked it. It was a good arcade. It's a pretty good arcade. I had. I I actually love NFL Blitz. I hate football, but I love NFL Blitz. So yeah, currently was kind of trying to name all the Lycan games on the Saturn because there are not a whole lot. That is true. He's missing uh, he says Crypt Killer. One. Yeah, Maximum he is. I was about to say Maximum uh Force, Area 51, Virtual Cop 1 and 2. Scud might use the game too. Scud Scud does Scud the disposable assassin does use the like gun optionally. Um and uh you are missing House of the Dead, which is a pretty big one. He's missing the most uh, important and, one. And there's also like a Japanese yeah, exclusive Death one that's Oh, there's Death Crimson, of course. There's How Death do you Crimson. miss Death that Crimson? That actually wasn't the best what I was thinking of. Sh- wow. I That's it. it. Sorry, guys. Dan has earned Tacked the in. Shadow Realm treatment. What a terrible Saturn show Uh-oh. we have here. We Let didn't me... even mention Death Crimson. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. I can't no, find this thing. There's Uh-oh. Shadow Realm, like he a, goes. Dave has, like Dan has SWAT. entered the Shadow Realm. Okay. He is gone forever. <laughs> What is that Japanese exclusive game where you play? Or is that an FPS I'm thinking of? I thought it was a light gun game though, where like you play as like a SWAT 
team member oh. and you're trying to save people. It might be an FPS. No, actually, I remember Hakider. That's the that's a Lycan game. Hakider. That's the. Oh, that is a Lycan game. That is not the other one I was thinking of. But you're but right. But Hakider, you missed that game. one too. Do you need yeah, to get Shadow Realm again, Dan? Uh, I will shadow yes, please. Die Hard Trilogy does. Yeah, one third of Die Hard Trilogy does have a light gun segment. That's true. That's Crisis Zone one. was on the Saturn. I don't think it was. Good call, Dark Savior. I did like Crisis Zone. That actually is my Dark favorite. Hard... Die Hard Trilogy? Yeah, of course that's on the Saturn. Yeah, D Crisis Zone wasn't though. Oh, Crisis Zone, no, because that's a uh, Namco game, and that they would never one. have been caught dead putting a game on the Saturn. Yeah, the, the Crisis Zone actually is my favorite Time Crisis game. I just like it because of the giant machine gun they gave you. I love mm -hmm. that one. That's the best one, in my opinion. The correct nice. opinion, I do actually. have that. I do have Crisis Zone. I have, I Is think I have all of the Time Crisis game. Oh, uh, yeah, PS2. Oh, dang, yeah. I did not know that. Yep. I have to get that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The I have, like, the whole big box and everything. What, is with the, awesome. what's, what happened to David Zaney? Does Snatcher, does Snatcher uh -huh. have, does Snatcher have light gun, does Snatcher have element light gun, does Snatcher have light gun elements? Uh, UK Dan, Dan uh, David Zaney? Do you need me to, uh, uh, do you need, like, are you okay? You okay, bro? But yeah, no, Snatcher does have, like, an element. Snatcher and Police Knots. There you go. Snatcher there you go, there's two more. Even if it's limited. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that's Virtual Cop. It uses the light gun. It's a great Saturn game. Yeah, okay, my talk at time, okay, his talk to text was freaking out. I was getting concerned no. there, uh, David. I was getting kind of worried, hopefully... Glad there's okay. not a health emergency. Yeah, hoping you're not you're not stroking at your keyboard, and that wasn't a pun. Jeez. That wasn't a bad pun, I swear. Having a stroke at your keyboard, this is serious medical emergencies. We don't make those kind of jokes on the show, ever. Uh, so our next story on the website uh, was actually submitted by one of the Sega guys, uh, Dan the Mega Driver. So thank you very much to him for um, Dan putting the British another man. story. Oh uh, yeah, the the other. Dan, the, uh, British the British one. Dan. I'm the I'm the Ohio. The I'm the American one. Dan. Oh, um, my! Gonna get you get your Sega Saturn. This my, I'm not going to insult you by doing a my, terrible British accent. I went, to, by the way. I went to Japan got yeah, Sega well, Saturn, and I bought I bought uh I bought all the games from the shops from from those shops shoppies. Yes, Dan visited Japan. Um, so that was super cool. He went there with his family and had a little <laughs> vacation, and he did this nice write-up about uh, his game-related adventures in Japan. Um, I don't think he spent the whole time doing game stuff. He I, probably I would should hope have. That there's a lot more to Japan than just shopping for retro video games, but he did do some of that, and he checked out the arcades. See if I can get the video and, uh, Yeah, and he, he shot a little video. Um, so yeah, it's super cool. And I, I love the part where he kind of, uh, does the like a dragon fan thing, the Yakuza fan thing, when he goes, he went to Kabukicho, which of course, uh, is the model for the in-game Kamurocho. Did he meet, and he did went he meet to the Dene guy? Doten Bori. Yeah. Well, I asked him if he beat up any thugs, uh, and defended any old ladies who would reward him with, uh, you know, like a golden plate while he was in Kabukicho, but I don't think he did sadly. No adventures like that. He's got some good pickups, but, though. Yeah, definitely check out our our site and read his story, and and you know check out his video that he put up on his check YouTube out. channel. He's, uh, he's the, cool. the Sega guys. He's a cool um, dude. He yeah. has a channel called the Sega Guys. I don't know if you guys heard of him. It's a good <laughs> channel. They they got some they got some good stuff on there. So our Dan in Japan, yeah, good one. Dan Neil in Anderson. Japan, I like it. But yeah, it's a uh, yeah it's a really cool video. I really liked the him going to the stores. The one thing there's actually one place I mm -hmm. want to do when I because. I actually was it actually was unrelated, but I wanted to start going to Japan, and this video yeah. came out and hyped me up. Like I'm trying to plan it, like nice. in 2025, and I know the one thing <clears> I really want to do is see the uh, the places that were inspired by Soccer Wars, like the uh, the theaters. Oh yeah, Bueno Park. Yeah, the yeah, Bueno and Park the, and the, the Imperial Theater. The Imperial Theaters, and then like the other one from the the Shin Soccer Wars. So I would want to see oh, them. Oh yeah, like, that's that's I would my wanna, goal. Yeah, that's something I would want to do. Like that's two things. Like you know, it's hard to like avoid touristy places. When you're going to Japan, like there's some things you just want to do, and like as a Sega game fan, like I would want to go to Kabukicho. Uh, I would know my way around because I've played those games so much. You know, I'd know what street You'd I'm. You'd be on. able to find the noodle, um, the, the the brother and sister uh, rice shop. Yeah, well, I'd be able to find the Don Quixote too. I'll tell oh, you that much. Even yeah. though they took that out of recent games, like I played enough of the older Yakuza games that like I know where that Don Quixote is. I can sing along to this theme song too, probably, or hum along to it. 
Um, and then I'd want to go to like Ueno Park. Um, cause you know, that's, that's where Sakura Wars starts. That's where, you know, Sakura meets, uh, you know, Ichiro for the first time. So that'd be fun. I'm maybe, excited. Maybe, uh, see the theater. So yeah, that would be super cool if you did that. Um, I really want to. And, and you're going to have to write some up for the website and take a lot of photos and stuff. And you know, if you do that, I'll, I'll name it naked in Japan and I'll just walk around naked oh God, in Japan. Please don't do that. You'll be arrested. No, we'll never the, see you the, again. The, the, it'll be a bit, I'll be like the, was it the, uh, what was the the one character hard gay or whatever? Uh, you never I don't saw know. one. It was, no. it was that. It was like that really bad stereotypical character that they had. It was it aged oh. pretty poorly, but it sounds like it. It's pretty <laughs> pretty famous in Japan. If anybody knows what you I'm talking about, you can't be naked if you're at an onsen though. If you want to go bathing, they'll let you be naked. I can't and they'll though, be naked I, with you because I have tattoos. Oh yeah, yeah. There certain places will still let you go in with with uh tattoos like maybe some of the um uh, the the saunas and stuff that are at hotels they might have signs that say if you have a tattoos you're you're allowed to go in there so yeah you're not completely banned but that does severely limit wear a skin bo- true, color bodysuit like george costanza yeah i mean you you do they do sell patches um they look like big nicotine patches that you can put over your tattoos and then you're allowed to go into onsens usually yeah the thing is that they're they're nerdy ones like there there's like there's like detective conan on my mm-hmm. my right shoulder, and then the 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 was it the foxhound logo on my left shoulder. So they're not they're not even like I do want to get a giant tattoo on my back though eventually. Uh, a big dragon tattoo or a big koi tattoo? Uh, no, that's too typical. I want to do the okay. I want to do all the chimera ants from Hunter Hunter. Oh wow, ants! Hold on my back. That is unique. Well, it's it's like it's a if you, you ever watch Hunter Hunter, it's like the the chimera ants, like the all those weird creatures. If you look it up. Mm. Don't don't ask yeah, no, me where the Mr. don't ask me where the Mr. Bones tattoo is. It's on my butt, <laughs> so that way it's close to the toilet where it belongs. Oh God! Okay. Mr. Bones tattoo. Stuart, Stuart Stapleton said Pat's in the yakuza. Yeah, that's what they'll think. They'll think he's in like the weebiest yakuza clan. Yeah, I just walk in. I just walk in. I'm I'm, I'm like tattoo. I'm here for the bathhouses. <laughs> so just in this hoodie with like the tattoos on. I'm Tear sure the hoodie off yeah. dramatically. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure they won't mind. I sure. I'm sure I, the Weeb most Kuza. intimidating. Weeb Kuza, yeah, pretty much. I'm the most intimidating yeah. person that can be with this on. I'm just super intimidating. I'm just gonna. There's. I'm not you gonna are. be able to get to any establishments and look at me. Gonna side eye me like you know. I'm just like the biggest badass. That's that's what happens. Get Dave's face tattooed. No, I'm not doing that. That's oh dumb. my gosh. I'm not getting. That would be strange. get another man's face tattooed on your body. Yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna do Shiro until like 30 years, like because I'm afraid that I might do something stupid and get kicked out of Shiro, and then I'll have mm. a tattoo of my shame for the rest of my life. Mm. Okay, yeah, I don't want that. That is a concern. You don't want to get kicked out. Have, haven't you seen <laughs> so. the way I act? I mean, it's inevitable that I'm about to be asked to not come back to Shiro. No, you're the life of the party every week, Pat. We would. I'm sure that you would never be dismissed. From Shiro, you're a vital member. Watch, this is gonna be age like milk. Say this as the newest member. <laughs> like, what do I know? <laughs> and then it just gets kicked out immediately right after the show. A me dismissal from Shiro for my conduct, my poor conduct to reflect on okay. all the Shiro's. So, uh, yeah, everybody, uh, check out Dan the Mega Driver's uh, Japan visit article on our website. Super cool, and you know, obviously, follow them on. X, formerly known as Twitter, and watch their YouTube videos. Yeah, they they do a cool. great job. I like watching the YouTube videos. They they put together some fun ones. Yeah, I have that arcade. Um, so, the 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 um the the uh what's it called the the um Net City. That's what I have in my house. Oh, you do. Yeah, nice. I have a Net City. I want to get bougie. S- it's bougie. It is very bougie. I really want to mm-hmm. get the. I really want to get some of the. Yeah, there's another one with the the all the nets all the Net Cities. I do want to get an Astro City eventually, but my roommate says no more arcades, or else he's gonna kill me. Like actually, like murder me with with weapons, so I can't do that anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so let's move on to our last uh, news story of the know. week. We should talk about my roommate killing me some more. It'd be fun. I would rather not. I'd rather move on from that topic, Patrick. Pat, you got a complete um, cabinet? Yeah, I got a complete cabinet. Uh, yeah, of course he does. Yeah, I, I don't know what he means by complete cabinet. Uh, like, do you mean like a cabinet that's not working? I, I don't know. 
What, uh, Maybe it means like, do you just have a board, uh, you know, hooked up to a super gun or something? Ooh, but no, like you have the I, whole. I had a whole ass shebang. cabinet. I have two cabinets. Yeah. I have the I have the S the Sound Voltex Exceed Gear cabinet, and I have the mm -hmm. the Net City. I'll put it. Yeah, I put a Mister in there. Ten people are hate watching. Did somebody down? Ten people watching that aren't having fun. What are you talking about? Ten people hate watching. Thank you, Max Abramson, for uh, promoting us and asking everybody to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. If everybody could Wait, do who? that, that'd be awesome. Max Abramson. Who's Max Abramson? Uh, he's a person in our chat. I don't see him. Uh, he's his for some reason his comments got held by the uh, for moderation, so I approved them. But maybe they're just weird. not showing up on your end. Yeah, no, I yeah, see it. Max Ab Abramson. To... Okay. So that was yeah. weird. Sorry, Max. Don't know what that was about. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. But um. Anyway, so uh, let's talk about the Mister. No, uh, the Mister sure, got it. the the main branch of the Mister got an update for the Saturn Core, um, which that was pretty big news because uh, that that was um, a couple weeks ago in late March, March twenty third. Yeah, and that was the first time that the main branch got a Saturn Core update since October. Um, so that's a good five months worth of updates. Uh, they all got crammed into one big one because up until then, uh, the developer. Uh, uh, Alex Dvodn or Sergey, sorry, Sergey Dvodnenko, also known as SRG320. Sergey was posting like smaller updates every few days since the beginning of this year in the Unstable Nightly's channel of the official Mr. Discord server. And that meant that Mr. users had to like go into that server, manually download the nightly Man builds, and then uh, like apply them to their misters, uh, you know, put them on there yeah, themselves. You actually have to run an unstable to... core. It's called the unstable, uh, unstable mister core. You had to install yeah. that on top of installing the unstable other core. So it was kind of a pain. Okay. So you can't just be like, uh, you can't just have like your regular mister core and then be putting these unstable nightly updates. You have to wait until these updates get put onto the main branch before you can play them. If you don't like run the if unstable you want to do core. That, yeah. It's and the last yeah. update was in like last of last year. So right, it was October. Kind of hard. Yeah, so like there's like a so for people who are just using the main branch of their Mister, this is a, a massive update. And even for people who are keeping up with the unstable nightlies, there was still like a really big update that went alongside it, and that was a fix to the uh, Garo shading of the Saturn, which of course is a really important uh, technique for uh, 3D games to make them look more 3D essentially to just kind of simulate how lighting. It's Garo shading. Is that how it's pronounced? the uh the polygons i i think so so I was, I was actually researching this yesterday when i realized oh i'm gonna have to pronounce this word on stream um just say the french shading. pronunciation the french pronunciation is like it's like guro yeah uh, <laughs> uh, which yeah. sounds very weird in english so i the closest english approxi approximation to that i think would be to say guro um, i've seen people say garod like pronouncing the D, but I don't think the D is supposed to be pronounced. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Garo. Maybe Frog Bull has some. Tom Frog Bull said what? I think honestly, what, am I, I think... doing it wrong, Frog Bull? I'm sorry, I don't know French. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, gonad shading. Yeah, that's the way you pronounce gonad, it. Gonad, gonad shading. shading. Yeah, gonad Thank shading. Thank you, Wiener Bob. Sh sh uh, to uh, shade the gonads of all the Saturn Go models. Garo. Uh, yeah, I said I Gucci said shading. Gurad Garo. It is Guru. Guru. That's okay. So that's what I was Can saying. Can I have so the Guru. chat Guru, Mark of the Wolves? That'd be great. I think it's Garo. 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 Mark of the Wolves. Which Garo, just means Mark of the wolf in Japanese. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the being able to get the Guru shading uh right on the mr core is a big thing because i mean so many games use it and the way it was broken before you can see in the image that i posted here uh it, it made things <laughs> look ahead, real mark bad the not going to mark the rules um yeah and this image this comparison comes oh. from a south korean mr user named sai barrio so uh big thanks to him sai barrio. he posted it to x uh yeah sai barrio uh, and he, he did this awesome comparison. It really illustrates how uh, how borked the Garo shading was before, and how good it looks now. It looks so, really yeah, good. And, yeah, um, it looks pretty much spot on. Look like for some reason it looks slightly brighter than on original hardware, unless that's just his capture setup. Yeah, it might, but it I might mean, be a thing. I, I, it looks similar though. It might yeah, just be a capture yeah. setup thing. 
Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that looks good. And then uh, the most recent core update, which was just this past Tuesday, just a few days ago, fixed how VDP1 uses direct memory access to write to the boundaries between video RAM and the frame buffer. It was made specifically to fix crashes that were happening during battles in Shining Force 3. Users in the Mr. Discord server like Adventure Taco and Mario got right to testing out the fix. Uh, Mario said, that's two battles with no issues. And with the Garo shading support added recently, I think we finally have a working Shining Force 3. Ooh, so that's I good like to it, see. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a big Saturn game, a big Saturn exclusive that's never been ported anywhere. So, you know, if Shining Force 3 is not only working well and not crashing, but also looking the way it should, uh, you know, that's awesome for Mr. Players. No, I'm excited. Uh, if anybody wants to support uh, SRG320, uh, please do so at his Patreon, which is patreon.com slash SRG320. Um, a lot of people have been helping to support him. He does live in Ukraine, and things are real tough there. Uh, but at least he is in a safer part of Ukraine now, which is why he's able to update this core like every few days now. Yeah, no, I, so. I'm, I'm glad that he was able to update this and get this core update. And, and, it's in safe, and it's in safe hands. I know it's kind of difficult, especially in that area, but I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I actually was playing with it last night. It actually is pretty stable. Oh, yeah. I like it. Nice. That's good. Good. Do you use the unstable nightly version or do you just pull from update all? Uh, I just I pulled from update I mean, all rich. for this one. Okay. Okay, so you've got the so you're like current as of like March 23rd when that came out. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool yeah, though. Which... I, I liked it. Cool. Well, hey, whenever uh, the the Shining Force three fix gets put onto update all, which might be a few months from now, we'll see. Or who knows? It might be next week. Um, you know, then you'll have to try out Shining Force three. I'll try it. I'm excited and, uh, to play it. Yeah, I'm excited. I really uh really want to play that i don't know what everyone's saying pats is so a kid bigger look at that beautiful face the face i don't what are you talking about i'm not <laughs> i'm not i'm not like i said i'm not egotistical okay. like that i'm i think dan is an equally great face of shiro i think he's a great great face i love his face it's really great i great i do what i can with he, he my does, face existing he does a great he does have a great face <laughs> i like it but no uh yeah, like I said, I think uh, I'm excited for the score. I'm excited for the core. Um, oh, like I said, I pl we played it at uh, Pure uh, Game on Expo, and everyone liked it. Everyone was a big fan of the core. Everyone really enjoyed playing with it. Nobody noticed anything was off about it. So um, that's what I'm excited about. I actually had a pro uh, Street Fighter uh, Alpha three player, uh, Chris Gore, uh, Chris Gore, uh, Chris uh, Chris Tang play it, and he said he can even tell. And he's a big. He's oh, yeah. also a big. Uh, He's also a big Mr. fan as well. I actually gave him my Mr. Arcade mm. setup so he could put in his arcade board. He's got more nice. use out than me. So shout out Chris Tang. Love you, dude. One of my favorite dudes. He's a really nice dude. I recommend if you cool. know Chris, say hi to him. If you don't, don't say hi to him. But I'd recommend it. I like Chris. He's a nice dude. The face of Big Sumo. The <laughs> Thanks, face Neil of Big Henderson. Sumo. You are the face of <laughs> Big right. Sumo. <laughs> I guess. Hashtag no, Big I'm Sumo the, Dan. I'm the official Sumo spokesperson. Sumo Unpaid, Dan, if you will. Uh, but yeah, so um, uh, yeah, that's the Mr. Night Dragon says, folks should join my Shining Force 3 Discord to see what I have in store with that game. Yeah, Night Dragon works with, has been working with the team for many years now on translating and fixing little bugs, I think, also. Uh, translating Shining Force 3 into English. So if you've ever applied that uh, English translation patch to Shining Force 3, you can thank Night Dragon and everybody he works with for that. And they update it pretty much every year. Um, it just, it's Shining Force 3 and it's two sequels, the three parts of it, essentially, the three scenarios. Um, they're so huge. They have so much text. That it's taken them years, uh, and they're still tracking down little problems, you know, little little bugs and stuff like that, so... No, I'm excited. It's awesome that they have stuck with it. No, I'm excited for sure. I'm really excited for the, for this core, and I'm really I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it a lot. I'm really excited about it. I really love the core, and yeah, like I said, I really want it to be my main Saturn solution going forward, be, especially at conventions, because mm -hmm. I don't like, call, yeah. like I like as much as I like my Saturn. I don't like ripping apart my setup every time I want to go to a convention. Like I have to unplug yeah, my I... unplug my retro tank, unplug my Saturn, unplug my stuff, and it's just a huge mess. And I we have to do my redo my cabinet each time, so. I'm trying for right now to uh, get that all sorted out and eventually getting a good setup with that and be able to just unplug it and put it in my suitcase. 
So I'm hoping yeah. with the Mister I can do that and don't have to worry about getting original hardware to these conventions. But you never nice. know. You yeah, never know. Up. I'm hoping hoping next year it'll be a little bit easier. We'll see how far the core goes. But I'm excited. Yeah. Pure GE gonna bring my Mister. I'll bring that. I'll show that off. I'll uh, cool. I'll, I'll I'll be naked there. <laughs> And I mean, the Saturn core is like in a much better place now than it was for last year's PRGE, which was only like, what, six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made such huge strides since then. So yeah, that definitely is going to actually be like a viable choice yeah. for, for Saturn demos. Yeah. And it'd be great to be able to switch out the, the every system, be like, hey, this is the future of retro gaming, the FPGA yeah. consoles and show them all off. I mean, yeah. A lot of people would enjoy that. Yeah. So. Hey, so are you going to do a uh, gameplay stream no. after the show here, Pat? Yeah, no, I'm going to do it. No. I'm actually not going to do a gameplay. I'm going to show off the Saru. I was going to do it last okay. week, but um, I had to do I do something more important, play Snatcher. Right, I have to listen to the fans. We we mm -hmm. listen to the fans. That's the goal of it. I like how this one's blank on that. You can see through it. And this one, solid. It's just the magic of technology. But yeah, I'm excited to... I got snutched. I, that sounds pretty not good. Uh, oh no, I got I got snatched. I thought you said I got snatched. That sounds very inappropriate. But no, I'm excited to play. We'll test out the Saru. We'll see which works, what doesn't. Um, apparently, I was talking online. Apparently, I had some issues with some of the fan translations, and somebody else got it working. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Apparently, some people got it working. I had some issues with it, but. Um, I'll yep. try it out. I'll, we'll try a bunch of different games. We'll try. Will there be Gex? Absolutely. With hot, steamy Gex every day of your life, man. Hot, steamy Gex. That's what I'm all about. But yeah, we'll oh, test down hey, the show. After, after your your gameplay, your Saru stream is over, Pat. Um, after this show and after Pat's stream, uh, everybody go to Shadow Mask's Twitch channel at Shadowbot underscore eighty seven. Um, he, this is very exciting. He's going to be streaming the third of the, uh, the, the trilogy of movies. He's going to do Clear and Present Danger, the VHS of Clear and Present Danger, starring, uh, starring uh, Han Solo himself, Harrison Ford. So that's awesome. I uh, can't wait. You we show Air Force One Patriot as well? Games. No, uh, no, he hasn't yet, I don't think. That would be Isn't cool. that part I think of the trilogy? Technically... No, it's not. The first one is Hunt for Red October. Um, which is, I think, oh, the, the, Jack the main Ryan, character. Jack Reacher series, right, or it's whatever? Jack, or Jack Ryan, Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan, yeah, sorry. Yeah. What was I thinking, Jack yeah, Reacher? Jack. Uh, yeah, different different series. Jack Reacher um, round? Jack Reacher is a newer thing. Yeah, Jack Ryan. Uh, Hunt for October's first one, and then after that uh, was Patriot Games, which Shadow Mask uh, streamed a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, he's apparently got his hands on a copy of Clear and Present Danger now. He's going to have that tonight. What, so what am I thinking I will of? Be the, tuning what was in. the one where it's like Harrison Ford escapes from jail because he was framed? Which one is that uh, one? Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I one that's part of the. It was like Air Force One. It was like that one. I forgot what it was called. Somebody. Uh, fugitive. No, the fugitive. That's it. On... The Fugitive. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think that's a Jack Ryan. The Pete Buttigieg story. That's funny. But no, uh, okay, yeah, the fugitive. Thank you. I'm I'm stupid. I could have sworn the fugitive was part of the the Jack Ryan series. Actually, I did mm. not know that Red, Oct Red October was part of the Jack Ryan series. That was yeah. Well, because Harrison Ford wasn't the main character. He didn't play Jack Ryan in that one. I think Alec Baldwin did. And then they switched actors for Patriot Games to Harrison Ford, who That's then fair. came back for Clear and Present Danger. Yeah, That's fun facts. That's interesting. Uh, interesting nothing stuff. to do with the Saturn. Didn't, uh, didn't somebody else, someone else, wasn't Tom Cruise Jack Ryan in the, one of the versions of it now? Um, I could have sworn. Probably. I he swear, probably has what, played him in what, one of the movies. Yeah, was I? I could have sworn I was crazy. But I'm fairly sure. Nope. I have a, the link now. That's to... Jack Reacher. What's the difference? Is, the, is it the same universe or is it. Oh, the guy from The Office. That's who it is. I'm confused now. I'm sorry, guys. There's so many Here's the Shining Ryan, Force Jack Discord. Reacher, it's in chat. all different authors. Honestly, I'm a big fan of Tom Clancy. I'm a big Clancy man. Yeah, yeah, that's that's who wrote all those. Um, Wait, really? All right, Tom so... Clancy did did the Jack Ryan series? Yeah, I think didn't he? Am really? I am I wrong? Somebody let me know am if I'm dumb. Say I'm dumb in chat if it's not if it's not J Tom Clancy. I'm fairly I sure he, he didn't. I I think it was a different act, a different writer. That's Tom Clancy. Yeah, he Tom did that? Clancy. D. Really? Neil Anderson, back me up. Yeah, pretty sure. It I did is. not know that. Jack Ryan, he yeah, did that? Yeah. I thought he just did the video Another games. Like, like, you know, Ghost Recon. 
uh did uh rainbow six uh yeah no, well he wrote books uh, that those games are based off of does that mean he th th did he write the story for siege before he died rainbow six siege uh I'm not sure. It is. It does have his name on it. I. He probably did not write a book about that. I think like toward the end, Ubisoft just started like using his name and slapping it onto whatever and getting it's his estate himself. to be like, yeah, sure, looks great. But I don't know for sure. Maybe. Maybe he Rainbow wrote Six some obscure book. short story. I yeah, do Rainbow like Six Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell is a lot of fun. That's it, Dan. Yes, yeah, see, Tom Fun agrees. That's, you know, Listen, actually, I'm pretty dumb, guys. I, I'm, I don't no, know if you guys knew okay. this. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty dumb person. I don't know. Look, we're we're about education here on the Shiro Show, and so you learned something today, Pat, and that's uh, good. I, yeah, everyone I should learn something every day. I did not know that. You know, I, like, like I said, nobody told me anything. They never. They never. You know, no one ever we was like, "Hey, now. Patrick." Yeah, I know. I'm I'm getting the smarts. My brain. Good. Information is being inserted into my brain at a pace that well, makes my brain do things i think that's our show for today thanks for everybody for tuning in yeah let me um, get do you my, want to uh, read our patreon patrons who yeah have I, I probably should do that kindly funded this show and, and our podcast i need to i need to take my hood off though i can't see it oh yeah that's a problem my, my hood is blocking clancy wiggum. Blocking my eyes. <laughs> clancy wiggum wrote clancy wiggum. jack ryan series jack reacher I'm not reading that one out loud, Stuart Stapleton. <laughs> too lewd. <laughs> that's my technique. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's that's your place. Anyways, I'll read. The, so, want to big big thank you to Murder of Crows, Emerald Nova, Johannes Fetz, Sega Steve, Blue Moon ninety five, Casual Seth, Cerulean, Chris Piper, Chris nineteen ninety seven XX, uh, Daniel Fredrickson, David Zaney, Derek Pascarilla, aka ATM. Thank you, my dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. We can talk about that later. I'll talk about the next show. Patrick Krindotaku, Jim Clasherank, Ian Keg, J. Hersey, Heresy, the horse Heresy, J. Heresy, uh, Lineway mm -hmm. Publishing, Momphis, Normal Guy, Newt Rages, Robert Ramsey, Rowan, Dinked, Stone, Steve, The Sega Guys, young, and Young Money Swee. Thank you again for all your support at the $10 level. If you guys want to get shout out on the show, you can back to the $10 level and you'll get shout out, uh, get some cool benefits like early pandemonium videos, early show videos when we do those, uh, and insider stuff, uh, your name in the magazine actually at the $1 level and above. And of course, uh, access to the modems and all the cool stuff, early fa uh, beta translations. There's a lot of cool stuff you get with it. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Like I said, getting some feedback would be great. Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so, oh yeah. So, thank you again. Apparently, it sent Pat tin for private chat. Yeah, I'll. If somebody send me a hundred dollars, I'll do a. No, I'm not going to do a new chat for hundred. That's a thousand dollar. If you get a thousand dollars, I'll do a new chat with you. Thousand dollar donation, new chat happens. But no. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah. So Shadow Master actually said Bob was asked about server on those week Q and A. He said he was waiting for a sure article on it. Pretty sure we did. Yeah, we wrote that up. So I'll send it to Bob. Let him know. I think we did post it to his website. So we'll go do that. I'll have Dave do that later. Pat after yeah. dark. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that he had posted uh, his big Saru story on Retro RGB. Yeah. I thought he had done that. So I thought I don't he know did why too. Bob was like, I'm waiting for Shiro Maybe. to post a Saru story. I don't like, know. He did. Yeah. I don't know. Dave, Bob, I don't know. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure Bob just know. Maybe had a he just fart. forgot. Yeah, that's cool. Well, thank you everybody for you know for all your support, whether you are a Patreon subscriber or yeah. or you're not, and you're just tuning in, or you're talking with us on Discord, or you know listening on podcasts. Thank you very much. We're glad that you are part of this Sega Saturn community. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and stick around. Like right now, we're after the show, we're gonna do the Saru discussion. We'll yes. go, go through Saru. We'll see what works, what doesn't. We'll see how the interfaces. We'll give onions. Everyone loves onions, right? Everyone's a big oh. onion fan. Sure. Dan, Dan's Onions like, are great. Dan's like, when is this going to stop talking immediately? <laughs> Get that off the microphone, please. But no. Uh, <laughs> they were cutting your mic. Cutting it. But yeah, no, thank you guys for watching. And remember, you must play Sega Saturn. You must. <laughs>
working how, how much working memory does a Saturn have for say uh, audio hardware? Bill Cummins, meine Freunde, zu der yeah, I'm not Saturn sure stream. Of my head. Um, now, are you in okay, the Sega like Extreme? Extreme uh, Discord server? Extreme. Yeah, I'm in the Sega Extreme Discord server. I was go I was asking there like a couple of weeks ago because I mean, oh. so for one, the Saturn has both. Uh, so the Saturn's Saturn Custom Sound Processor, the SCSP, is capable of both a hybrid of gonna... PCM samples and yeah. uh, FM synthesis because of gotcha. its Yamaha roots. Hey, Natsuki, let me do the intro to this and then we can talk about that in a little bit. Sorry about that. Hey, guys, welcome to the okay. gameplay portion. We are going to be playing some of Saru, checking that out. So then, welcome back to it. So we're going to be playing that. But yeah, what was your question, Atsuki, for the audience? Just let us know. So, the Sega Saturn's audio hardware mm -hmm. has what um, is both a hybrid of a PCM sound, sound bank. Um, it can handle PCM channels in a hybrid mode. And it can also handle FM synthesis. FM synthesis is capable of, depending on how many cycles the CPU has, how many cycles the, the, the sound processor has, it is capable of making some amazing music, but only if the person doing it knows what they are doing. Yeah, the, that might be a question for Pony Sound. I don't know the intricacies of the Saturn hardware, unfortunately. That's a question for Pone Sound. So if you want to, or Pone, yeah, Pony, say, Pona, you should, you should reach out to Pona and you ask would have Pona a better, better Pona, yeah, answer for us. A lot. Yeah, he knows a lot about the Saturn's audio capabilities and has you know developed the Pone Sound um, if drivers. I remember, would you say? If so. I if I remember correctly, it's built off of the if it's built off of some of the Sega 32X's uh, PWM channels, which is nice. Um, pulse wave. Uh, Pulse wave, I think. Yeah. yeah. Modulation. Nice. Pulse pulse wave modulation. Pulse wave modulation. Yeah, WMs, yeah. Pulse wave modulation. Which is kind which is basically like a weird I think it's like a hybrid between wave channel, FM synthesis, and pulse code modulation support. Which means it's capable of the big three. Now pulse wave now wave channels, um, FM synthesis and pulse code modulation. Okay, so PCM. Hey man, I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh, we I don't think any of us are really qualified to talk about that. So maybe uh, maybe if you want to talk about that in, in like the the main chat or asking like the Saturn chat, we they'd be better suited because we don't really go that in depth. Not I'm tr not trying to be rude or anything. I just don't want to you know. We I don't think we're gonna be able to answer your question, my dude. I'm sorry, but it's it's in, in, informative. Thank you very much. Thank you. But yeah, we're not sure we'd be able to answer your question, unfortunately. But yeah, um, yeah. I just want to talk about the. Yeah, let's talk about the. Talk about the the station the Saru a little bit. Um, so the menu. This is the the actually the menu. The uh, was it the, the menu from Martin something. I forgot what his name is. I don't remember. But basically, this menu is pretty impressive. Uh, it has this cool little character with this Game Boy. Is kind of. Kind of sacrilegious should have been like game years double game gear dude but yeah this is really cool uh cool boot menu um we are going to be playing whatever we can um so one of the issues that i had is that the the homebrew is really not really that supported of the translations like i couldn't get a lot of them to work like like some of these just just do not work apparently they were he was able to get to hell slave to work by hacking some of the uh or hacking some of the or messing with the some of the settings for the ISO, which is kind of not something that you probably want to do normally, but hopefully they can get that going. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get. Uh, but yeah, like I said, all the regular games work well. Uh, this is actually the alphabetized menu. The only thing is, it's really slow because apparently the Saturn is not that great at uh, sorting menus or sorting like the menus by alphabetical order in real time. So it's a bit laggy compared to the original Saru uh, firmware. But, I mean, as long as you know what game you want, it's not really that big of a deal. It's, it's just, if you want a menu surf like this, it's going to be kind of not fun. But, yeah, like I said, all the all the ones that are, uh, are like, you know, based, like, that are, like, like supported by the library kind of work. I've not had an issue with it, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, so I've, I've had zero issues with that. As you can see, it works pretty well, and it's pretty fast, too. It's nice and loads up fast. 
Just... Oh, that's a lot of spammy of that sound there. The music on, easy. Lots of ships. One player. But yeah, like I said, this, it works pretty well. Um, it's nice and fast loads. The only issue though is that I've heard, I think I heard from people that uh, apparently because of the way that it doesn't emulate the disk drive exactly, it like speeds it up. That there's some issues with some loading of uh, menus and stuff, or like some of the sorry that some of the speeds kind of slow, so it just does not uh, load. Like it it loads a little bit too fast, so some of the options are missing. So like it'll it'll like have issues with that. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. It doesn't. But essentially, I guess what I'm saying is that uh, is that it loads actually too fast to where it, it'll like certain. Uh, Certain loading operations will be interrupted by how fast it, it goes. It's like expecting like a CD speed. So if it, it, it gets ahead of that, it will uh, cause an issue with the disc writing. Or the actually disc reading. So that's why with the Satiator, it's, uh, they actually emulate the CD drive exactly. Just so it doesn't have that, uh, that issue with loading too fast, if that makes sense. It, as weird as that sounds, loading fast sometimes is not actually worth it. So you don't want to load for Yeah, timing issues, exactly. So yeah, you don't want to, but yeah, like I said, this is, like I said, loading and stuff works pretty well on this one. I don't expect that, don't see that many loading issues. And it's working well, so like if we switch over to, uh, switch over to another game. Switch over to another game. And yeah, so that one works well, but like if we switch to a homebrew game, for example, we'll do a... Uh, so this one's at random. If this works, it will be funny. But yeah, we'll do, for example, uh, let's do uh, Cyberblock Metal Orange. Oh, wow, that worked. Oh, sweet. I don't think we can show this on the street. Actually, no, I think we can. I don't think there's any issues with it. I don't think this one has nudity in it. Yeah, this home this homebrew does work. I'm surprised. Usually, usually the homebrew doesn't work. I we got lucky. So some of them does work, some of them don't. This one indeed does work, which is pretty lucky on my end. Let's see, it's working fine. Let's see, game should be using ram cart. Time of course just foul. Me through this week's throw. Good to see it. Ten wars. Has been a fan. Yeah, so this one works pretty well. Like I said, some of the homebrew does works well, some of it doesn't. This one I just got lucky on. So if you want to play Cyberlock Metal Orange on the uh, on the sat on the on the Saru, you can. So we'll move on to another. I'm lucky. Actually, I have a little button on my thing. So sorry, Pat. I need to get some sleep for midnight. Take it easy, Litter Tom Fun. Thank you for showing up. Select game. We'll try another one on here. So that one worked, but let's see if we get lucky twice. Let's try... Uh, let's try Sickle. Yeah. So see, some of the games actually should get stuck. Um, I actually didn't, have not tried messing with the, uh, with the header file. I probably should. I have not. But I think I will try that. But yeah, some of the games just get stuck like this. And it's kind of a shame. Yeah, so you just gotta reset the whole thing again. Look, I have a little button on my on my switch box, so it'll easily work for that. So I don't have to load that up. So select game. Yeah, some of them unfortunately don't work. Uh, the issue I had the most is the fan translations have been having issues. Like like a lot of the fan ones I've been trying. Like the bulk slash and uh, and stellar salt work fine, but like uh, let me see if I can get to a fan translation. So we'll do uh, let's see, we'll get down to these. Actually, I think I have to go to the top, because you yeah, have to go to the bottom. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, we'll go to the... Oh, well, I guess they're not there. Yeah, that's a weird order. Yeah, we'll do cotton. Cotton to English. That one also does not work. But the, weirdly enough, homebrew ISO format. Actually, I didn't check that. I'm fairly sure it's not. I believe they're, they're bin Q files. I will double check. That actually might be an issue. Actually, I can double check on my hard drive. I have it on my desktop. Let me double check here. I put it on my desktop. All right, so let me check. 
desktop. Let's see. Cause actually, thank you. Sometimes, guys, sometimes laziness, laziness saves you with that. So, cotton. Let's see. Oops. It's satiator. I need to look at satiator. And translations. Cotton to English. Uh, yeah, the Cotton to English is a BenQ, so that should be working. It does not, unfortunately, so that's a big, bit of a big sadness. Over oh, I sell format. Oh, hey. I finished DS9 a few years ago, so I'm Voyager now. Nice. What'd you think of uh, DS9, Captain Hodden? I love DS9. It's one of my favorites. It's my favorite Star Trek of all time, so. I'd like to hear your opinion on it, if possible. Nice. This, that will crash it. Fail, oh, fails to boot like cotton doesn't have double folders. Oh, it actually does have a double folder. No, that's kind of funny. So the double folder does cause issues. I wonder if Soccer Wars is the same way. No, Soccer Wars is one folder. Oh, but it's an ISO, though. That's, that's weird. Okay, well, that's probably why that's failing. Okay. So that's the reason we, we got... Let me try fixing something on my S SD card and see if we can actually get that working. I'm Alrighty, so we're going to my computer and fixing that. My thing is off right now, but that's because we're fixing that. So, Saru, why has it been... Oh, ISO. Let's see. Cotton to English. Let me copy that. Paste that there. Go, we'll delete that one. Go so okay, so it's in its own folder now. Bin Q, there we go. We will eject that. Try that again. Alrighty, let's try that and see if that actually fixed it. That might have been the fix we needed, boys. Let's see. Select game. There we go. We did find out the issue with Soccer War, so we got that sorted. Let's see, Cotton to English. Oh, heck yeah. We're getting, getting some loading, guys. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, let's see that English. Oh, here we go. We got the English going on, heck yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, let's see the story. Thank you, whoever, who was that, that that suggested that? Let me see. Cutscene. Who was it that recommended the folder thing? I see who recommended that. Whoever did on that, thank you. I forgot who did. I think that was Executioner. I could be wrong. If not, let me know. But yeah, I think Executioner was helped me out with the thing before. Yeah, but uh, so so yeah, Soccer was it was because it was a an ISO format. So at least now we know that. So I'm actually happy. Blow those guys up. go there's me thank you executioner sorry about that oh I need that there we go
Nice. Getting all those wombo combos in. Yeah, I'm gonna double check my games to make sure, cause yeah, that was uh, that was my bad. I'll go through those on the on the on the uh, Saru next time to make sure that it was indeed the fact that it was cause I'm dumb. Usually it's usually that's usually the ma massive issues that I'm stupid. A lot of people don't know that, but it's 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 an interesting fact that 99% of the issues with my sadness stuff is cause I'm actually stupid. There we go, get some kills in. Like that. Throw on the witches around. So if we get to the bottom of one of them, but yeah, the homebrew is still pretty hit or miss. Come on, die, bro. Here we go. Throw him around. Go. Sweet. Hopefully we got a lot of those T's. That works. Let's see. Trial and error. I had to go through it too with a mine a few months ago. I will go through that and I will uh we'll clean that up and figure out what's going on with that. But yeah. It's uh it's pretty good that I was able to sort it out though with you. I'm glad that we got that live so that we know the issue is that. Yeah, I did not know that the folder would cause issues like that. It's kind of interesting. This one's working pretty well. Good. Let's see if we can switch up to another game. Try just a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, let's get some recommendations. Chat. What do you all want me to try out? And I know what the first the first request is going to be. And if you do say that in time, and you're the first one. I will play it. So you have to be fast. If that's the first one I see, I will play it though. If you know what I'm. If you know what I mean. Yeah, dang it, Dan. Uh, I was hoping you'd be slow to it, but of course. Alrighty, we'll try Mr. Bones. Did I actually have it on here? I don't think I added it on here. Ooh, I did not. Ooh, that was a good out. Sweet, I do not have it on here, so luckily we cannot play it. Haha, -ha, take that, Dan. Take that, Dan. Suck it. No, just joking. We can go load it back up. But Gex. Gex. Yeah, we'll, uh... Alright, I gotta, I gotta do Mr. Bones. I told Dan. I gotta do it. Wait, no, I can't. It's gonna be a little... Unfortunately. We'll do that next time, though. I owe Dan... I owe Dan it. I don't have it on here, though. I'd switch, like, a 50 SD cards. I'm sorry, Dan. But I will play the... We'll try the police knots. Maybe that'll work on here. At least that's disk one. Ooh, did I save that into the wrong file format? Keep your Dan happy. Let's see. Let's see here. Did, did I, this isn't a messed up format, or does this just not work? Double check. Please not disk one. Yep, it is in an ISO format, so that did not work, unfortunately. What a sadness. So yeah, I need to redo police knots. That's a also an ISO, but that should work technically. Rabbit will definitely not work because it's in its own folder. Actually, let me try adding. And there's a lot of ISO ones. Yeah, this is a bunch of. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Try to get some. All 
Alrighty, let's fix some uh, let's fix some games. We'll do it live, people. We'll do it live. Alrighty. Doing it live, people. Alrighty. Okay, let's see here. Take the hoodie off because it's really, really warm in here. I I would have no idea why it's so warm in here. It definitely has nothing to do with this giant thing I have on for sure. Definitely not. Definitely not indeed. Download that. I mean, we'll rip that legally. It'll be legally ripped from online because I'm a good Christian boy. Can I see good? Ha can you ha see hashtag good Christian boy in chat? I think that's what's needed right now on the RTM. Yeah. Punch Man, ISO Q. You had Mr. Bones this now. I will add Mr. Bones. I will go get it now. I will get it. I'm I'm a good boy. I make promises I keep. I'm a good good boy, good boy. Now you look like one punch man. Do I look like one punch man? Is that a ball joke gang delirious from this onesie? I am, it's really hot in here, dude. Jesus and love you. Oh no, not piracy pat. I'm- that's not my name. I don't pirate stuff. I'm a good Christian boy. I've done no wrong. I am... I am most Christ-like. That's what they- they call me. They call me in school. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. Alright. I'm just digging through the archive right now, trying to find the bones, the bone zone. I need to get to the bone zone. I have a need for the bones. Anybody else want to get to the hashtag bone zone with me? As in play Mr. Bones, not nothing nasty. We're not nasty on this this cast, people. We're good, good, good fellow people. We're the hashtag good gamers. That is our names. Don't wear it out. We're the hashtag good gamers. Can we get hashtag good game in the chat? Hashtag GG good gamers. I need to see those GGs in the chat. Let's listen to the chat while we're... I need to pull up the chat while I'm doing this. No, that's not the chat. Why do I have 12 windows open? Where's the chat? Oh, there it is. There it is, we can see the chat now. Okay, cool. True boner stand up. A bone zone. We are indeed in the bone zone now, boys. And girls. Got me boning, boning in the boneyard. X gamers. True boner stand up. We're all we're, we're just boning out here. That's 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 what that's what our job is. It's just, you know, just Protect the world from devastation to unite all bones with our nation. Denounce the evils of bone and love to bone our bones from the bone above. Jesse Bones. I, I, I don't know. I, I ran out of juice. I'm getting delirious now. I'm seeing things. Apparently Dave is in my house. Why are you here, Dave? Raise your dong. Wow, this is getting... What have I done to the Shiro show? I have ruined, besmirched the Shiro show. Hashtag Okay, I'm done, lol. Yeah, I don't blame you. I've besmirched the good Shiro show with my dirty nature. I'm no longer loner. Stop. Loner to Bonely Heart. What the heck? Tangle difficulties. No, I'm just doing some, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some stuff sorted very shortedly I'm actually just trying to get some games on the SD cards because had some issues getting those up so I'm just trying to work on getting them on to Saru we're just trying different games out trying to debug the bugs we're debugging the bugs removing the bugs from the bugs we just need to verify verify and verify 
the verifications of verif verifications. We need to verify the verifies. We're verifying everything that's verified to be verified through verifications of verifying the verification of verifying the verifications. And I think we're ver pretty verified. What do you guys think? Totally clips of the bone. What is wrong with you people? Guys, you guys, why are you guys doing this in my chat? I don't like that. You're embarrassing me in front of my parents. Do you guys appreciate... Do you guys like embarrassing me in front of my parents? What do you think? They're watching the show right now. What do you think they're thinking while you're saying this stuff, dude? It's not very Christ-like. Oh, it's an also an ISO. Well, that's not working either. Alrighty, that's a whole process. It's not going to be happening on the show, unfortunately. Go. Yeah, we're... I'm not gonna be able to do police knots on the show, unfortunately. I thought your grandma came in here. Yeah, she's probably here eventually. But only the lonely are your parents here. My parents are always here. They're always watching, judging me. We're losing viewers because of this. You guys ruined my chat. Why you do this? Why you do this to me? Why you do this? I probably should have been more prepared, but I just straight up wasn't. So sorry about that, Rose. I am a bad gamer. Can I say hashtag bad gamer in chat? Everyone say Mr. Boners. No. We're losing people. This guy would say boner. Quick 80 views for Pat's pokies. Please don't use you said mainly slow. <laughs> Manually have to do that. That's funny. Okay. Oops. Go. Okay, so it's going to be in here. Okay. Does not work. All right, we're almost ready, guys. And a couple more files will be ready for the Bone Patrol. Mods are not asleep. What's with the no signal? Sort it out, Pat. I told you I'm down. I'm playing the games on the thing. I turned my thing off. I I have to put the cards on. I have to put the Saturns on there. They're the I have to turn the Saturn off to put them on there. It's either that or it's gonna be a blue screen. So, what's for dinner, Dan? Selling the mashed potatoes and chorn. No one likes the chorn. Acquiring bones. Yeah, my SD card reader sucks, so it's slow. We're almost there, though, folks. We just got a couple more files. Let Dan bone the zone. Cal's bones. Get it? Yoke. It is a yoke. Sumo Mandarin Glaze. That actually just sounds pretty delicious. Alrighty, we got we got all the stuff we need. We're going to eject that. So, all right, now we're back to game time. I guess it belly on stream. There we go. Here we go, we're back to having signal, baby. Signal time. Oh no, my stuff fall, fell down. No. No, no, no. Why the chat be like this? Dinosaur. No dinosaur nuggets allowed. That's not allowed in the chat. Whoever eats dinosaur nuggets gets banned from the chat. Chat is a moderation nightmare. Dino Nuggets. Dino Nuggets shall be banned from the chat forever. Alright, let's... We know Mr. Bones works, but let's see if this new Soccer Wars one that I got completely legally works. Ooh, that's a big 10-0 for no. 
Soccer Wars 1, Disc 1 is not running. This is not good. Did I mess that up? Disc two. Nope, that should be Ben Q, so that should work. That is a no-go. That is a bummer. I thought that was able to work, so... That is ouch. Does not work. I think I have that one in here. Probably not, though. Yeah, I'm not- now you'll get the Saki Tossi to run, that kinda sucks. Let me see if I have Psychic was it June- was it June- was it- Let me see. Maybe I have it on here? I don't think I do. Maybe it's under Psychic Assassin. Nope, don't have it on here either. Rabbit is in a different folder and a different format, unfortunately. That sucks. Alrighty, what about the loop on the third game? We'll try that one out. We need to do Mr. Bones, though, unfortunately. I promised it to Dan. Why do we only have discs, too? Oh, well, whatever. Alright, the Bone Zone does work. Honestly, I feel like I'm ruining my PVM putting this on here. Mr. Bones, insert other disc. I do not have it. But it does work, so... Yeah. I have a ROM of it, Sonic Extreme. I think I do. Alright, Mr. Bones works, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so, uh... If you guys really want to get to the Bones... Yeah, I would I would stab somebody if my PVM had Mr. Bones burn into it. Loop on the third pyramid game. What's that one? I love the little switch button on my thing. Pat, you missed my callback. Play Sonic Undog. Undog. I'll play Sonic Undog. Oh no, no, we're not doing Sonic Undog. No. I don't even know what that is. What's Sonic Undog? She Metal Sonic, that's probably not gonna work. Uh, what was the other game somebody wanted? Uh, so the Lupin game, that's right. We'll try the Lupin Pyramid no Kaze. I'm fairly sure it's on here, because I don't think they would say it if they didn't see it on the list when I'm going down. A-K-L... Let me see... Lupin. Yep, there it is. Yeah, okay, so it does work. I think it's Sonic Underground. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Sonic Undog is. Burning Rangers. Do I have that on there? I didn't see it. Heck okay, yeah. Let's enjoy this intro real quick. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 Play Sonic Z Stream. I'll try it. I just want to try to see if this works. Lupine the Thoid worked. Lupin Sensei, come me through Kinja. Wow, that actually lo lags even on the PVM. That's sad. FMVs load fine. Nobody likes Jigen. Sorry, Jigen, you suck. Can we have a hashtag, uh, hashtag Boo Jigen in the chat? Here we go. There we go. Lupin Sensei! There we go, did not die horrendously. Beat him up, Lupin. Kick his ass. There we go. Suck it. Lupin Sensei! 
Wow. I I want Jigen hate in that chat. All I saw was somebody say hashtag Jigen rules. I want Jigen hate pure in that chat. The hatred must flow. Bodies must bodies must pile. People must die. Just joking. I'm not gonna go that far. Anyways, yeah, this runs pretty well, looks like. There's no issues. I'm gonna fall down though, because it's funny. Nice. Crawl up the pit. There we go. Gex must flow. Million, millions of Gex must die. Yeah, okay, well this works. Let's switch over to, uh, what was the other one? Sonic Z stream. Fighting Vipers, go for Fighting Vipers. I had a bigger chat. I am having a hard time seeing the chat. I'm just gonna assume it works. I'm just gonna make the chat this big window. You look like Pepsi Man. There, Pepsi Man is not on this. I'm not playing Pepsi Man. All right. Uh, where's it? I need to find it. Sonic Stream demo. Do you want the Sonic Z Stream? Actually, we can try both. They're probably not going to both not work, so we'll both try it. So let's see. I want to find the the other one first. What's it called? You know, Lunatics. NLP. Yes. Sonic. Yeah, I'm Sonic Wings. Sonic Wings is that Sonic C stream. Let's see if that works. Nope. Did not work. No. Sonic U Dog. I'm not playing Sonic Undog. I don't know what even that means. Yeah, Z stream does not work, unfortunately. Pepsi Man's chat. Oh yeah, I I don't know. He's, he's in something. Try the Metal Sonic one. Yeah, I'll try that one. It's probably not gonna work. Let's see here, fan translation. And then the metal one. Yeah, the metal one's not gonna work because it's an ISO. Thus, it's not going to straight up work, period. I only need to test that to know that. Um, yeah, unfortunately that one did not work. The other one. Why is this actually streaming? Oh, it's lagging badly. That's not good. Or you got to start burning discs. What do you mean burning discs? Why would I burn discs? <laughs> you can get the ISOs. I know I can get the ISOs better. The <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I know I can. Get uh, all right, I think he's I think he's messing with us right now. Uh, cube cap did not work. I can try it again and show you that it does not work. I I don't, actually let me double check and see if it might be it might be because it's in an ISO format, so it might work. We let's see. I have a cube cat on here somewhere. Cube cat shouldn't change. Yeah, it's an ISO format, so I need to honestly I need to go through and start. Make them all Ben Q and we'll test them out later. But yeah, unfortunately that one doesn't. That one that one will not work just because it's an ISO. So let's try Sonic Jam. Sonic Team. Pat, you suck at booting games, guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm the worst at it.
do the Sonic World because I like seeing the cool things. Does indeed work. Do 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 do. I want to make a Saturn game with Pat as a bear. I am a nice bear. I'm a very nice bear. I want Pat's bear adventure. Sonic the movie. It's cool. We'll do Sonic CD opening. Come on, they don't. I, why do they not have the original Sonic Boom on the? Uh, isn't the Sonic Boom is Sonic Boom in the the U.S. one or is that the Japanese one? I could be wrong. Hey, how? So there's Jam Underground. Oh, it's a Jap Japanese one? Really? Why would they change that out for this one? This one sucks. It sucks. This sucks. This sucks bad. Bad intro is bad. Sonic CG images unpublished. Let's see what we got. Sonic Ride. Let's let's go for a ride, guys. What what does that do with Sonic? Why are we going down a toilet? Why is there a pinball here? Oh god. Oh joy. Okay, that was not fun. Commercials. Let's see some commercials. Dun, 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 dun. All right. All right. Uh, I... Cool. Commercial B. He's like in Arizona, he's like, screw these tech, screw these cactuses. All right. He said something about America and Japan. Don't talk, Sonic. Nobody likes you. Commercial, uh... Sonic Drift. What the heck was Sonic Drift? Oh, for the Game Gear! That's the one. Uh, I forgot about that game. Triple Trouble? Oh, right. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm about to have a seizure right about now. Alright. I almost seized out from that, so... Sonic Chaos? What are these games? I don't hear about any of them. I owned a Game Gear. How do I not know about this? I had a Game Boy. I had a Game Gear as a kid. That was my first handheld console. Did it crash? Did this, like, crash on me? Uh, yeah, I guess it crashed. That's cool. Oh, dear. I do smell a burning sm smell, so that may me not be a good thing. Alrighty, so that was interesting.
Alrighty. Yeah, Sarah did not like my ignorance to that game. Alrighty, so... Yeah, honestly, I want to retry, I want to redo this when I, like, have all of them in CD, ISO format, see which ones work and see which ones don't. Let me try and look a liver to see if it's even going to work first. Okay. Legal folder. Data satiator, fan translation. Link a liver store. Let's even work. Oh, it should. It's, a, it's in bin Q, so this should work if it... Yeah, it should work. Oh, there it is. There we go. That works. So sweet. Try 3D Blast. Try 3D Blast. Alright, do your suggestions. We need another dude. Someone else suggests stuff. Linkle Liver Story. Internal RAM. Let's start a new game. Even my character. Yeah, I don't know what's up with J-Rock. I couldn't get mine working. Winkle River Story. Streaming away. Nice. Check my best to see if I missed me. Alright, death threats. Okay, somebody did send me death threats, so thank you for that. That's been sent to the chat. My dad sold for PS1. To be fair, your dad did a good did a good job, Pudgy. You probably had more enjoyment. Yeah, Jerick, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to repatch all of them and just double check and see if that's the case. Just because I think it's honestly, I think a lot of it's like ISO stuff. It did indeed. Hey, CC. Name. Nice. Masking workout for you. There we go. Get got granny a bulk and place knots. I got to I got to bulk slash running. I got to a bulk slash and then the other one. A, a stellar salt, but I could not get police knots or grandia working or soccer wars. Wait, Saturn had games? No, it never did. Just had trash. Like, uh, imagine if your name's Barrel. Imagine waking up one morning and it's like, oh yeah, my name's Barrel. Daryl the Barrel. Yeah, you should really try Link Liver Story. It's a lot of fun. Obviously, if I was more into the game, or like, was further into it, I'd probably have more fun playing this. Like I said, I'm just trying out, testing out games. Stream, nothing too massive and major. All right, later, my dude. All righty, stick a set ton. All righty, let's see. What else could we try? Join the Discord. Yeah, join the Discord. Queen Barrel. Oh, I have Metal Slug on here. Let me see if that works. Metal slug. We'll see if that works. Okay, well it works, so let's see how well it goes. Well, the loading times are a little bit fast. Oh, wow, dang, that was fast. Alright, let's see. We'll get some lives. Difficulty normal, because I know how to play the game. Alrighty, let's play some Metal Slug. Mission 1, start. Okay, we got the blood version of it. Why is there no voices? That's weird. Oh, 
Oops, I need that. There you go. It's a flamer I want to ignore. What the heck? What killed me? You should even play that game without getting hit at all. That's weird. Yeah, usually I'm better than that. Why? What killed me on that? That was weird. Go. There we go. Play Mario wants to use funny mustache. Thank you. It is really laggy on this though, I'll admit that. You should have just spam grenades to get to this boss. There we go. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Alrighty. You should have been able to recover all of them and not die. That was weird. Yeah, unfortunately, Metal Slug is a bit sluggish on the Neo Geo, or on the Sega CD. Neo Geo version is the one I usually, uh, primarily play. So I'm gonna blame, uh, I'm actually gonna blame my, my L to, uh, yeah, that was lag. Totally lag, wasn't me sucking. It's pure lag, guys. I'm good at Metal Slug, so no, 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 it's just the lag that messes me up. I swear. That plus I haven't played in a while, so a little bit sluggish. Oh, come on. We go we're get we're getting get getting better we're warming up a bit I'm in, I'm in my route now there we go guys see I'm gonna melt slug kind of this is a little bit different though I don't know what's up with that there we go. This is why I like hitting the shotgun. There we go. I do prefer the shotgun over the over the rock in this level though. Mostly for stuff like that. That's usually, that's kind of weird, he usually doesn't like, his hitbox doesn't lo actually load up until he gets to that point. And I shoot to the heavy machine gun. Because I think the heavy machine gun works a lot better on this section. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go, this is what I'm talking about. There we go, we're back in our funk again. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to review the sea- this- the- this- this through R&I. We're gonna go through that. Right, well, we'll uh... We'll uh... I'll let me beat this level and I'll play- yeah, Rocket Launch here. 
Yeah, I like the shotgun just because it's really good at the, uh, I think I can cheat if I do, like, this. Yeah, that's it. You can get a lot of health off it if you do it like that. Come on, almost, almost, almost there, come on, let me get the, let me, oh, hell yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about, oof, okay, I need to get that, I need to get my gamer cred back up, there we go, there we go, seven, heck yeah. Sorry about that, I just wanted to make sure I got that to get my camera cred up. But yeah, actually it loads pretty fast on that, so it's, it's pretty cool. GG bug. Alright, I'll do bug. Yeah, I love Metal Slug, it's one of my favorite games on the Sat on the uh, Neo Geo. It's fairly competent on the, on the Saturn though, just like a lot of slowdown though, unfortunately. Did I have bug on here? I don't think I did. If I do, I'll play it, but I don't think I... Oh, yeah, there is Bug. There we go. Oh, oh, no, there we go. That was weird. That was weird. That was a weird one. Real-time Associates, my favorite. There we go. Uh... Okay, that's... Oh, that was weird. Weird, alright. Button wasn't working right. Wait, what was wrong with Bug? Why is the pause button mapped to the left trigger button? I, I can't... Yeah, I can't jump. Uh, yeah, I think it's still bugged. I don't think this left shoulder button is supposed to pause this game. Like, see, look it. I'm hitting left shoulder button, it's pausing the game. That's insane. In the configuration line. What configuration line? No, the start button's not jumping either. Weird. Out of the list. I could just want to edit it in already. Weird. Are you sure it's not just the, con the controller's doing that? Or is that part of the issue with bug? Is that it's a... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I'll probably try that one later and see if that works. There's gonna figure the pot and paste. But is it is that the one? Is it affecting the button or is it just the loading it? That's the issue, J Rock. That's my question. Maybe if it's a music Okay, that's weird. Yeah, what was the controller? I switch to the controllers does work. So yeah, that was that was weird. That was a weird one. So using the ape, the the wireless controller. Yeah, no, it's running. It's running, unfortunately. But yeah, no, it was because of the controller. I switched the I switched the official one and that and it's working now. The the wired one. Yeah, because I, I couldn't see how doing the init conf config file would fix that. I yeah, need to update my uh, Saturn controller. There 
go. Jump, dang you. Ah. Oh, well, I guess I, I guess I missed that one. There we go. Ow. Ooh, I did. Uh, the wireless controller, uh, yeah, stuff like that happening. Where we'll just, bu uh, like that issue right there. Uh, sometimes it'll freak out on me with the mister, I don't know what's up with that. So yeah, for the most part it works well, like I said, it works on all the games, on the Saturn stuff fine. I just didn't realize it would do that. He's a three platform or two platform, I'm torn. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely cheating in some aspects, that's for sure. There we go. Alrighty. Are we gonna get... I'll switch over to Gex if this, uh, if I get it dead again. Oh, dead. There we go, got full soda. 2.5D, it's kind of a weird one. It's not even 2.5D, I consider. There we go. Honestly, I need to take a look at my wire- my- the, oh, the 3D one you're talking about. Yeah, 3D one, uh, I'm having a bunch of issues with on the Saturn. It keeps disconnecting or not connecting properly. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that later. So the Pro one's kinda giving me issues, unfortunately. Go. Token acquired. There we go. There we go. No! What a troll. Troll. Uh, game over for you. Why is it going so slow? No, I didn't want to start all over again. I want you to run the thing up. Dumb game. Well, I died, so let me see if I have hot gex on my thing. Let's see if hot gex is a thing that's on the Saturn. Uh oh, I'm missing gex. I just know no Gex this time. Unfortunately, no hot Gex for this this stream. Let's see, Mar Maria's Revenge. I had some issue with that one. Kyder, oh that one worked. Let's see, <laughs> Pixel Poppy Pop, Pixel Poppy Pong. Let's see if that one works. Nope, does not work. Unfortunate. Oof. <gasps> Alright, I think we're about out of time anyways. Now, what time games are you hunting for? Uh, I think the next one I want is uh, Kale Flying Squadron 2. That's the one I want. So, that's that's probably my next big gem that I want. That would be cool. Maybe a box, uh, like a special edition of Game Tengoku. But I'm not really that picky for games anymore. I got pretty much all I have. But yeah, I think that's it for the stream. I uh, want to thank you guys for watching again uh, and testing out the Star with me. We'll probably test a little bit more later. I'm going to try to get it configured with all the games. So, uh, or all the games with Ben Q, and we'll see which ones works, which don't. But uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching, guys. Remember, you must play Sega Saturn.